hamster launched itself from Gundam's hand and ran up the baton lighting of the ceiling in a flash. Hmm. What? What? What is that? Oh, okay, okay. It looked, it looked, it looked wrong for a second. Okay. How's it going, everybody? My name is Jazzy Guns. Bang, bang, gang, gang. Let's get back into this game. Dang and Rampa 2, goodbye, despair. So, we got two dead bodies to investigate this time. And I, I want to make sure that they are who they are when they're dead because I heard two body announcements, but you know, there could be something else with that. So I'm not sure yet. And Hyoko is one of them that died. And I'm not that sad if that sounds wrong. So before I dive on in, make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. If y'all new, leave a like for your girl, for social media, and all the good stuff. And let's begin. Two body discovery announcements in a row. That means the hang body with a hemp bag on its head Kyoko's suspended body. Both of these bodies have been discovered at the same time. What? What is this? What? Kyoko and who the hell is that other one wearing that hemp bag? Could it be two victims? But when I was here earlier, I didn't see Kyoko's body. I only saw that hang body over there. Not even 10 minutes passed, but still, why? Oh my god, what is this? Impossible, impossible, impossible. It's impossible for killings to happen on this island. Shut up, idiot. For now, we should lower that person wearing the hemp bag to the ground. Leaving it like that is just too sad. Yes, but what about observing the scene of the crime? Who fucking cares about that? There's a control panel for the baton lighting on the wing of the stage, and you can lower the body with that. That one. Fuyuhiko ran over to the wing of the stage and pressed the button on the control panel. Ugh. With a motorized sound like the growl of a starving beast, the baton lighting slowly descended. When it descended enough for us to reach it, we all worked together to lower the body. Now I'm going to take off the hemp bag, okay? Let's see, that is definitely Ibuki. Okay. Even though I expected it, I still didn't want to confront that reality. Under the hemp bag, there was no denying that the face I saw belonged to Ibuki. Oh, damn it. It's all my fault. If only I did a better job watching over Ibuki. You're wrong. It's not your fault, Mikan. No matter how we feel, the one at fault is Monokuma's bitch ass. Jeez, it feels like someone died in here or something. So you finally showed up, the root of all evil. How dare you call your big brother the root of all evil? I even went to the trouble of bringing everyone for you. Bringing everyone? Oh, now, now there's these bodies. What the hell is going on here? Ibuki and Hyoko? What? So two people have been killed? What? Whoa there, that's not all. I've also summoned the others who were at the hospital. The others? It looks like another serious incident occurred while I was unaware. I can't believe they did such a horrible thing. Okay, so are they back to normal now? Are they back to normal? Nagato, Akane, are you okay? Huh? Of course. What do you mean, of course? Are you talking about the despair disease? Jeez, you guys, that stuff is totally over now. Over? Yeah, because I got bored. What? So you can control the disease? So he can control the disease whenever he wants to. All right, got it, got it. And now that the killing has started, there's no need to keep that motive around anymore. Yeah, that despair disease is gone now, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. What the heck? That's impossible. How can you spread a disease and cure it so easily? Aw, uh, who cares about the itty bitty details? What matters is that it's already been cured. So, let's get back to our main topic and proceed as usual. Monokuma file. I'll be waiting at the class trial. Do your best to investigate. Again? We can do this again? We have no choice. Like last time, if this means one of us killed these two, then we cannot let this be. Uh, why do we have to do this? Thinking like that won't do anything. We have to do this. If we don't do anything, we'll all be ex executed. <laughs> Abandon your over-dependence and complaints this instant. Those have no place in this world. But what about Nekomaru? What's going to happen to him? Is he not going to participate this time? Is that even allowed? <laughs> Nekomaru, huh? That's strange. I'm crying. What happened to me? <laughs> Looks like a lingering after effects of the despair disease. There's nothing for you to worry about. Hey. Are you okay? Yep. Fortunately, it seems like I have nothing to worry about. Since you had the liar disease, your after effects could be lies, maybe? Leave Please me. leave Nekomaru to me. Everyone must focus on investigating, so I must do my very Alrighty. best. Alrighty, I will definitely bring back Nekomaru and win everyone's trust. Um. It seems we should leave Nekomaru to Monami. What about guarding this area? Do we still need it? I'll stay. I still don't feel good yet. Um, it's better if I stay here too, right? I should perform the autopsy again, right? Damn right. Then I'll leave that to you. 
then let's get started so we can end this nightmare for good. That's right, we need to end this. We need to finish this once and for all. I know there's no way we could believe that one of us did this, but for those two's sake, we need to find the truth. And then we need to end this nightmare once and for all. <sighs> So let's look at the damn Monokuma file first. Like I've been putting up with this for a while, but why is it so damn hot in here? I hate being hot. It's because your clothes are so smothering. Oh, I can't stand it. Let's let you guys investigate this place. And so Kazuichi left the music venue under a cloud of grumbling complaints, but it really is hot. In fact, it's sweltering hot. Why is it this hot? No, before that, I need to check the Monokuma file first. There are two victims this time, Ibuki Miyota and Hyoko Sanji. I feel like I, Totally butchered her last name, whatever. Ibuki Miyota's cause of death was a crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no other external injuries. Hyoko Sanji's cause of death was blood loss due to her throat being slit by a sharp edged tool. It appears her death was instant. My goodness. What the? What, is this it? I already knew the cause of death from the beginning, so this isn't going to be a useful clue. Huh. I'm surprised that they joined the two together as one, as one file. That's, that's interesting to me. It's strange, why did the killer kill two people, huh? I mean, the more people you kill, the more clues you'll leave, right? So I don't think it's really necessary to kill two people and take that kind of risk. I agree with that. Or was there a reason that they had to kill two people? A reason for killing two people? Regardless, something like this shouldn't be forgiven, so I will definitely find the truth behind this case. That's what I think. Seriously, I'd really prefer if she had a more confident sounding catchphrase. So, they never said that like one person is the killer or they never confirmed it. As I still have the option open in my mind that it could be two people doing two murders. Just like in the first game. So I'm keeping that open. So, let's see. Let's look at this. The shattered remains of a machine are spread all over the floor. Huh. This appears to be the surveillance camera unit. Kazuichi put in a music venue for communication purposes. Why is it destroyed like this? Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here. What do you mean? Well, Even if they know they are not being recorded, there is no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. So that's why they destroyed the camera. Seems plausible enough. They'd hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera and that's why the killer destroyed this? Then what was that thing I saw? Why were they walking there? Huh, I need to get more clues. So let's look, let's look at this. There's a black curtain hanging on the far side of the stage. This curtain is not wide enough. It can't reach from one edge of the stage to another. Mm -hmm. Huh, it's not really a full length curtain. This curtain was originally here, right? If it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. Mm -hmm. It was probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. See, the back of the curtain is taped for temporary use, just like the curtain at the supermarket. So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring that curtain from the supermarket? If they went that far, this was probably something that the killer really needed for this crime. Why did they need it? Who knows? Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answers came easy. Huh, so they went and bought a curtain. Why? To set the stage? I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, so let's look at this. The step ladder is tipped over on its side. Oh, but there's blood on it. This must be the step ladder that Ibuki used in a video I saw. Isn't that a blood stain? Look, there's blood around the left side of the step ladder. As I recall, Ibuki didn't have any external injuries, if that's the case, then it must be Hyoko's blood. That's the only thing I could think of. A blood stain that probably belongs to Hyoko is on the left side of the step ladder. What does it mean? Yeah, because if you're choked, you're not gonna have blood on the side, so. What is that? And what is this, a candle? There's a massive candle positioned near the front of the stage. The dull light in that video must have been coming from this candle, huh? A candle this huge might be perfect for lighting, but they didn't need to bother using a candle. They could have just used a normal stage lighting. Ibuki had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling, but why did she have a hemp bag on her head? Wait, huh? That hemp bag, upon further inspection, there's a Monami de decal on the fabric, and that is the same bag that was at the movie theater. It looks like this isn't just a normal bag. So, that's not a clue? That's not a clue right there? Okay, all right, so let's look at the, the noose. It's the rope that was tied to the baton lighting on the ceiling. Ibuki hanged herself with this rope and died. From what I could tell, it looks like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. But despite the fact this music venue has a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there. Which means, was it obtained from the supermarket? Did the killer bring it from there? That means anybody could have obtained this rope, and it means it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. <laughs> I wonder if that's true, huh? Oh, I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Hey. Excuse me, Makan, do you have a moment? Um, what's happened? 
there's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Yes, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see. I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious the moment we discovered the body. You might not have seen it, but we all saw that she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right. Yep, I got it. So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. Jeez, as usual, I have no idea what he's up to. He might have saw something on that damn rope that he's not telling anybody. And he might as well, because we're, we're investigating a murder here. Like, come on. Ibuki's body lay atop the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. Huh? What's this on Ibuki's feet? Oh, there's blood. I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? But there shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki. If that's the case, this blood belongs to someone else. Is that Hiyoko's blood? I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to piece it together. Hey, Hajime, can I talk to you for a sec? You already discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah, at first I didn't know it was Ibuki because of that hemp bag, though. But I knew right away she was dead since she was hanging from that rope. Which means Ibuki must have died before Hiyoko was tied up. That helps. There's no time of death written in the Monokuma's file this time, so I wasn't really sure who died first. It's true, the estimated time of death wasn't written in the Monokuma file this time, but I should know when Ibuki died because I personally saw it. But in that video, Ibuki was climbing the step ladder on her own, so right after that... Wait, hold on. If Ibuki climbed that ladder and died right after, so does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible, because even if Ibuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Yoko's death afterward. Two different deaths happen at the same time. There's no way that's coincidence. Huh. What else happened? So let's see, let's look over here. Let's look at this thing. Hmm, there's control panel on the wing of the stage. It seems you can use this control panel to raise and lower the baton lighting on the, sta on the ceiling. In fact, we use this to lower Ibuki's hang body. Speaking of the lighting, the video, the music venue I saw, huh, it had a dim candlelight ambiance to it and it didn't look like this lighting was used at all. But why didn't they use this lighting? But why didn't they use this lighting? Was there some reason that would have inconvenienced them? I see, so you noticed know too, fiend. Huh, notice? So you didn't notice? Are those eyes just little glass balls? Take a good look at the baton lighting above your head. Have you not noticed that aberrant item? Look at the baton lighting. What, you mean that? There's something that looks like a black paper stuck to the baton lighting. <laughs> so you finally noticed. But I can't really see it from here. I should lower the baton lighting one more time and there's no need. Go, Mirage Golden Hawk, jump P. Now is the time for you to take flight. Feast your eyes upon the brave souls of my four dark devils of destruction. A hamster launched itself from Gundam's hand and ran up the baton lighting of the ceiling in a flash. Hmm. What? What? What is that? Oh, okay, okay, it looked, it looked, it looked wrong for a second, okay. It started running around the stuck slip of paper in rapid circles, and then the paper fluttered downward and definitely caught by Gundam. Did you see that? Behold the power of the ultimate evil eye wielder. Wow, this is amazing. I've never seen a hamster do tricks. They're my four dark devils of destruction. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. So what's with that paper? It seems to be some kind of thick paper, though it does not have any special spells scribed into it. It appears it's nothing useful. No, that's not it. There's no doubt there's some kind of clue. I mean, the fact that it was stuck in a place like that, no matter how we think about it, it's too unnatural. Huh. Scrap of thick paper. So what is that connected to? I'm trying to figure out and piece together what this actually means. Okay, so let's look at the heat. That says 86. This looks like the music venue's AC unit. That's right, you might be able to adjust the hot air in a music venue with this. All right, I should mess around with it a little like so. It's running as a heater over 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I know it's why it's so damn hot. I better turn off the heater for now. That should cool things off a little. So somebody turned it up super hot in here. Kyoko's body is suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped against the pillar with duct tape and she looks like she was forced to stand upright. Damn it, who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding, probably because of the duct tape wrapped around it. But why is Yoko kimono like this? Her kimono is all disheveled. Also, her sash is tied in the front. Did the killer do this too? Huh. But when did the killer kill Hyoka? When I first discovered Ibuki's body, I didn't see Hyoka's body there. In that case, Hyoka was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back here. But that was barely 10 minutes. Is it really possible that the killer killed Hyoka and taped her up in such a short amount of time? 
Even if it is possible, how, whoever did it would have had a narrow window of time to do so. Because the killer must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during that time, right? Hey, hey Ajume, do you have a minute? No, you're in the way. <laughs> I don't wish to be in your way at all, but there's something I really need your help with. Help? Actually, if you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from inside Hyoko's kimono. So I was thinking that she might be hiding something. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you want me to search inside Hyoko's kimono. Huh? huh? That's exactly Why? it. Well, it would have been a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now, you know, so, you know, just go ahead. <laughs> don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem with that now that she's dead? Fine. If you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask someone else. Hey, hey Akane. Yeah. Yo, what's up? Hey. Well, there's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside Hyoko's kimono, so can you feel around for that? What? Huh? I don't really understand, but I just got to check Hyoko's kimono, right? Thanks. Thank you, Akane. Helping each other is such a wonderful thing. Hmm, let's see. Akane reached through the duct tape, binding Kyoko as she stuck her hand inside her kimono. Damn it, she's tied up so tight I can't really reach with my hand. Oh, wait, hold on. There's something. If there's, is that what you were looking for? Is this a key? Perhaps. It looks different than the keys to the cottage, so this may be the key to her motel room. The key to her motel room, huh? If her key was so deep inside her kimono that it'd be hard to remove, then it's very unlikely that the killer tampered with this evidence. Because if this is a trap, they would have put it more toward the front of her kimono so we notice it easier. Which means we could conclude this is something Kyoko had with her all along. Huh. Motel room key. So, this, so she had that, huh? Also, it's not like I'm adding to that or anything, but you look like you were curious about the condition of Hyoko's body, right, Hajime? Of course, that's why I'm investigating. It's true, there are several mysteries regarding her body. Well, just hear me out for a second. Out of all those mysteries, what I think is the strangest is... See? The way they wrapped her body with the duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Hyoko's neck, don't you think? Hide the wound on her neck? Huh. I don't really know if that was their true intention, but I guess it's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting like as a compress, right? If her body was left alone after her throat was slit, the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. A sea of blood, huh? Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood. That's enough to make anybody faint. Huh. So let's talk to Chiaki. What you got, girl? With her arms crossed and the thoughtful look on her face, Shiaki was silently staring at the stage floor. Did something drop on the floor there? Nothing dropped, it's just dirty. Dirty? Hey, hey. See, take a close look at the floor. Huh, if you look closely, you're right. There's a smudge as if something was wiped off. Wait, this isn't something. Is that a blood stain? Yep. Well, a blood stain isn't strange. Hyoko's neck was slashed not far from here. Rather, what's strange is why did the killer try to hide it? Hide it? So... If they weren't trying to hide it, they wouldn't have bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped off the blood stain, as long as the body is nearby, there's no way they'd be able to conceal that crime by wiping off a blood stain. So what was the killer trying to hide? What are, I'm getting confused. What are they trying to hide? Because I really don't know this time around. So I, I don't know. So let's leave that. Let's talk to Mikan back there, because she kind of hide it. If only I noticed sooner, Ibuki might have been saved. Hey, when did you realize Ibuki was missing? Um, after leaving Nagato's room, I went to the on-call room, and that's when it came to me that I should go check on how everyone in the hospital is doing one more time before I go to sleep. And so, I went to the patient rooms and noticed that Ibuki was gone, so I quickly ran out of the hospital. So that's what happened. And then I saw Fuyuhiko in front of the hospital, so I asked him if he could help me look for Ibuki. Huh? That reminds me, where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That is a long story. I'm sorry, it's not like I doubt you or anything. There's no way I doubt you, because we've been together since this morning. You're right, we were together until you went to the on-call room. That's right, we were together until just a little before the morning Monokuma announcement. So, I don't doubt you, I'm telling the truth. Huh. Is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? If you talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I know. So please, spare my life at least. What happened to not doubting me? Huh. Everybody's still a suspect to me, so I love my con, but she could be a suspect too. It has happened once again. Two of my cherished friends died at the same time. I cannot believe it. This is the place where Ibuki sang for Fuyuhiko. Kyoko looked like she was having so much fun listening to her music. And now those two are no longer here. Such a tragedy. I understand how you feel, but please get a hold of yourself. Two of our friends were killed. That's all the more reason why we can't just leave this alone, right? We must do this then, for the sake of the two who have fallen. Oh, man. Okay, let's talk to Mr. Devas of Destruction. Did you direct your gaze to the brave stature of my four dark devils of destruction? Okay, so let's let's just leave him alone. All right. Hey, are you okay? Are you still not feeling well? Yeah, I really don't get it, but when I think about Nekamaro, it's like my knees start shaking. That's weird. There's no way I've got that kind of weakness. 
I'd probably go away if I battled a strong dude, but Nekomaru's not here. Nekomaru would definitely come back. What's Hajime. up, Nagato? Hajime, this might be impudent of me to ask, but will you listen to what I have to say? Hey. I heard that you witnessed the incident from the very beginning, right? So what? <laughs> Can you provide me with the summary of the incident? I need to reach the truth behind this incident for the sake of dedicating my body to an even greater hope. What? No. <laughs> Why? Don't make me repeat myself. No. This guy just wants to confuse us. There's no way I'm going to tell him what he wants to know. Oh, I see. That's disappointing. Aww. <laughs> just got denied. Hey, Hajime, take a look at this. What? Uh, look what's in front of the door. This is a drumstick, right? And it looks like this is broken. What happened to it? Like, if something like that is in front of the door, you think it might be a really big clue? Why would this be a clue? Hey. Remember when we came to the music venue? The door was locked when we tried to go inside and the four of us charged into the door. But when I examined it, I found out this door doesn't have a lock at all. Huh? The door is designed to be pushed open and this is the shape of the handle. If a stick was used to bar the door here, well, don't you think it would lock the door and keep it from opening? You mean, you think this drumstick was used to lock the door? <laughs> the broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door should be proof of that. Then how was the killer able to get out, huh? I mean, the music venue doesn't have windows. This door is the only entrance. If they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't be able to escape Wait. outside. Maybe. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue. And they waited until we were already at the scene of the crime to join us. You know, don't they use tricks like that a lot in mystery dramas and stuff? <laughs> If that's the case, there might be evidence of that around here somewhere. All right, I'm definitely gonna find it. I won't let the killer get away with this. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue, huh? Like you said, that might be possible, but I heard what you two were discussing. Chiaki, that was a kind of cool entrance. Well? Besides the broken drumstick, I've also discovered something interesting. What is it? See? Look, there's a weird glob where the right and left door touch, you see? What is that slime? What is that glue? Is that glue? What the hell? I don't know what that is. You're right, what is it? It looks too firm to think it's rubber. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but as she said that, Chiaki bent down, scraped off the semi-transparent glove with her finger. Is she eating it? Oh my God, no. Why are you putting it in your mouth? What is it? It smells like workshop chemicals. Workshop? And this chewiness. I see, this may be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the start. For instance, if it was originally a liquid that hardened into this, it might be possible to apply it directly and smoothly in the gaps of the door. What are you talking about? Ugh, ugh, just as I thought it tasted nasty. Girl, you could have died from doing that. Don't do that again. Chiaki spat the glob out of her mouth and left the area. Besides that bit about the taste, it's okay to consider this some kind of clue, right? So what is that? Semi-transparent glob, is that like glue? Like what, like what is that? Okay, so let's, Let's look in the staff room. What's what's up in there? There's a door that says staff only. It looks like inside is a storage room. I might as well investigate in here too. So let's see what happened in there. What? Nagato, did you come here to investigate the storage room too? <laughs> I just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it or is he trying to stand guard here? So how about it? Did you find any clues? The tipped over step ladder on the stage, the duct tape binding Kyoko, that probably all came from the storage room. There might be other things from this storage room that they use for that crime. You always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just gonna be on the killer side, right? <laughs> oh, I'm not siding with the killer, you know. I'm just on the side of whoever acts in the name of hope. That's all there is to it. That's the main reason why this case is really special, huh? Yeah. But I can't say for certain, though. What is this guy saying? As usual, he's not making any sense. By the way, Hajime, I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. What? Hey, if you can explain it to me in detail, I think I'll be able to give you some more useful information. Really? You might just end up confusing us again instead. You don't want to find the truth. You just want to make us suffer. Me? That's not true. I'm doing this because I believe it's for everyone's sake. Oh well, for the sake of everyone's hope, I gladly become the enemy and I won't leave my mind when I die. That's the main reason why I can't overlook this case this time. Huh? What does that mean? Regardless, I guess you're not gonna tell me, huh? Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? You should come by later too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? <laughs> well, obviously the movie theater. After he said that, Nagato walked out of my sight. Movie theater? Why the sudden interest in the movie theater? Maybe because that's where the hemp bag was found. So I might find more clues there, but I don't really trust him that, I mean, I know, I don't know. The Nagato is confusing, because I know that he's on the side of hope, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he's on my side, okay? So I don't know, huh? There's a lot of different musical instruments. Okay, I know about guitars and drums. Yep, they don't look like they're pertaining to the case. Okay, so that has nothing to do with the case. So let's look at this. You can see your whole body in the full length, okay. Compared to last time, it feels like there are less stickers than before. Am I overthinking this? 
Huh. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. That was ripped off. Okay, there's carpeting, wallpaper, and paint on the shelf. It's probably used for stage decorations, huh? This thick black paper that's folded up on the lower shelf, it looks like wallpaper. There are a lot of stickers pasted all over the front side of this wallpaper, and this edge of the wallpaper, it looks a little torn, but what does this mean? I guess that's everything important in the storage room. I guess I should go back to the music venue. So this was torn off. So this wallpaper was used to be torn off. Hmm. Huh. I need to look back at the pillar then. Because they use those stickers for this. But why was it torn off? That's what I'm trying to figure out. All right, with this, we might be close to finish investigating the music venue, but I still need to talk to Mikan. I need to make sure I get those autopsy results from her. I'm trying to look at this. Okay, so this was on the, the little pillars, and it was wrapped around. Huh. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to piece it together, y'all. How about it, Mikan? Have you found out anything by now? To tell you the truth, it's been very inconclusive, but it's not my fault. The music venue is just too hot. Because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death. Because of the heat, is that possible? If a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. I see, that might have been the killer's goal. They covered up their time of death by using the heater to make the inside of the music venue hot. But that's weird. Even if this heat is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I agree, as long as I saw it, it should be clear what order the murders occurred. First was Ibuki, then Kyoko. And as long as it's an imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistaking the order of the murders. Imitation murder? What are you talking about? Huh? huh? You don't know, Hajime? I thought everyone already knew. Mm -hmm. It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work, like a song or a film, as an outline for their killings. It's so common in detective novels, mangas, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? Well, based on the killing order and the way that they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. What movie? The assumption is an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. The goal was an imitation killer. Even so, why did they feel the need to do something like that? Excuse me, if this was really an imitation of that movie, then is it possible that one more person might have been killed? It's certainly conceivable if the killer wishes to complete the imitation. Hold on a sec. What are you all talking about? An imitation murder? One person might have been killed? Are you guys worried that there's gonna be another victim? Then no worries. Things would get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once. I'm a real cautious fella, so I prepared a perfect countermeasure. Then on this killing school trip, the same blackened can only kill a maximum of two people. You mean you've added another rule? Well, if killing everyone at once is okay, the black will be able to secure an easy victory, right? This new rule will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. If it is a maximum of two people, then there will not be any more killings. Huh, since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. I see, I see, as expected of you, you're very strict about games. I don't want to consider this possibility at all, and I don't even want to think someone would do this. If two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Huh? Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Hyoko were killed by two different people. That would mean that two killers exist at the same time, but we can only vote for one person, right? If we can only choose one based on a majority vote, the other person would certainly achieve victory. Yeah, you're right. So what happens in that case? What about a case where there's three incidents instead of two, or if four incidents overlap one another? Silence. Shut up! It's okay, I'll make extra sure something like that never happens. Hey. Meaning two killers can't exist at the same time. So it's safe to say that applies to this case too, right? All right, fine, fine, that's right. There's always one killer at any given time. Even if they had an accomplice, I'll have you figure out who the mastermind is. Man, I ended up giving you a huge hint. She made me say it. Gamer brains are not to be underestimated. I should just shut up and go back to my cave. I see, so there's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same time. With this, I guess that narrows things down a little. Yep, that makes things a little easier. Plus, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people, it means a third victim would be impossible. Imitation murder breakthrough. You guys keep saying that and it sounds strange to me. What do you guys mean by imitation? Could it be you haven't seen it? Seen it? Seriously seen what? Like I said, that movie. When we first explored this island, Madakuma was passing out invitation tickets. Then the invitation is, of course, it's an imitation of that movie. Well, based on the murders this time, it closely resembles that movie as if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie. I see, Nagato mentioned something about that. I see, so you haven't seen it. Still, it's not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea if you watch the movie before the class trial starts. 
Looks like I need to do that. Then I should get going too. There are other places I want to investigate. Where did you intend to go next, Chiaki? Probably the hospital for sure. The first victim, Ibuki, was there. I don't know what was going on at the hospital in the first place. Thanks to that despair disease, we could not go there for some time. She's right. It might be good for me to investigate the hospital too. There might be some clues related to Ibuki's death. For clues related to Hyoko's death, I should try going over to motel. There's still a lot of things I can do before the class trial. I'll definitely give it my all until the end. So... Let's talk to her again. Are you okay, Akane? <laughs> Just a little bit more time and I'll be back to my old self. This ain't like me at all. Aw, poor baby. I don't know why something is pointing towards, towards her, towards Makan, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop thinking that. So, let's leave. Let's go to the third island. Okay, so I got a lot of places to go. I can go to the hospital, I can go to the motel, I can go to the movie theater. But let me go to the movie theater so I can see what people are talking about. And let me see what my pet is doing. What is my pet doing right now? Oh, you just got a lot of, you got a lot of poop I gotta clean, I'm so sorry. Let me go ahead and give you a, a gift if I can. Oh, I can't? I can't give you a gift because you're inside your little cocoon, okay? So let's, let's leave that then. I'm trying to look at everything. Everything is a clue to me. So, hello there. why, hello there, Hajime, I knew you'd come here. That means you noticed it too, right? The case this time is an imitation case in which the killer used that movie as their theme. I wouldn't know, I haven't watched that movie I yet. See. I see, then you really should watch this movie hey. first. Hey, manager, customer is here. Did you call yes, did you call me? Huh, Hajime's the customer? Do you have a problem with that? You and you say you didn't want to watch it, but I knew you wanted to see it all along. If that's what Sundir Hajime looks like, then you're really a tough guy. You were so devoted to being Sundir, you even bought the Monokuma stick for $1.5 million. You paid $1.5 million for a sticker? It's nothing. Don't pay attention to it. In exchange for not watching this movie, Hatsume paid $1.5 million for a Monokuma sticker. Come on, since we're talking about it anyway, why don't you show it to Nagato? Stop it! But my resistance was in vain, and Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker. See, it's this one. I'm sorry I was born stupid. You bought this for $1.5 million? But in the end, he's still gonna watch the movie. Who cares about that anymore? Just hurry up and give me an invitation ticket. Okay, here you go. It's already said so on the invitation ticket, but it's only effective today at this time. So it's called the Wizard of Monami? 2D? What? By the way, I can only give away one ticket per person. You only have one chance to watch it for free. I've already stamped today's date on the ticket, so you won't be able to cheat. Don't worry, I only plan to watch it once. Then I'll go prepare the projection reel. Please wait a bit, okay? Hajime, about the invitation ticket, I strongly recommend you keep that safe. Huh? Why? No reason, just think of it as a protective charm. Protective charm? Hmm. Maybe he wants me to keep it because I'm seeing it today. I didn't see it before. So maybe this protects me as an alibi if they think that somehow I'm the killer because I couldn't have because I've seen it after the killing happened so that clears my name. Maybe, I think. I guess I should just wait until Monokuma finishes the preparations. Um, but we're gonna look around a little bit. We're gonna look over here. This is where the head bag was. That reminds me, that item should be on top of the counter. If the tote bag is gone, that means... What's this? Well there, were you interested in buying that tote bag? Well that's just too bad, it's already sold out. Who'd you sell it to? So stupid, there's no way I'd fall for that. There's no way I'd say something that revealed who the killer is. <laughs> so the killer bought it. Uh-huh. I remember you said there was only one because it's a limited item, right? Mm. It's not limited to one, it's more like it's limited to one person. What's the difference? Hey. When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to bake customers with bonus prizes. For some reason, here you say that pisses me off. So, when you buy one bag, you get one free? Well now. Now then, I should forget that I carelessly made a slip of the tongue. Now, Looks like the preparations are complete, so please enter the theater right away. Wait, this is I exciting, exciting. So, let's go inside and see what this movie is about, that everybody's talking about. Um. I apologize for keeping you waiting. World famous director Monokuma presents a stunning masterpiece that reduced American audiences to tears. The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D will be screening shortly. From the title alone, I have a bad feeling about this. 2.5D? That sounds so half-ass. Now then, oh. And enjoy the film. Okay, excuse me, let me shut up. <laughs> the Wizard of Monomy 2.5D. Huh. What the hell? What the hell? Monokuma was born in a remote village full of old people because <laughs> the death rates outpaced the birth rates. <laughs> One day, 
Monokuma was swept up by a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise. What? And was okay. whisked away to Monami's country. Okay. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the old people for change. Okay, so he was broke. He was a broke-ass bear. Got so it. So he began his journey to see the wizard, Monami, who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. Along huh. the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. Hmm. Monokuma met a Monami scarecrow who was missing a brain. When he recommended that she commit suicide. So he's taking this from the Wizard of Oz. And I was thinking that from the beginning, but this is his version of the Wizard of Oz. Got it. So he just ripped it off. The Monami Scarecrow hanged herself and died. Ah. Huh. Okay, I got a I got a I got a theory. I got a theory, okay? I got a theory. So I know that Ibuki was plagued with the gullible disease from that despair disease, right? So she was gullible. So somebody told her to hang herself and die. And she did it, if it's based on this. Cause they said it's an imitation. So somebody suggested that she hang herself and die and she went and did it. But who who told her to hang herself and die is what I'm trying to figure out. I'm, I'm gonna figure it out. He also met a Monami lion who was huh. missing her courage. So, he pumped her full of arrows. What? Pumped he her full of arrows? He also met a tin man who was missing a heart. So, Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. Hmm. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami, the great and powerful. Okay. Eventually, one thing led to another, and he started beating the crap out of Monami. Even in a freaking movie, Monami is getting her ass beat. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to say, girl. You just gotta learn how to fight. You just gotta learn how to fight at this point. And in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. Huh. With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people, took their pensions, oh and lived the rest of his days in luxury. He's evil. The end. And he lived happily ever after. The end. Huh. Man, movies are the best. That drama was so moving that I needed two boxes of tissues. One for each head. Now then, let's meet again at the class trial. Goodbye. I'm too disgusted to even let out a sigh right now. That's all I can say to describe the situation. Then how did Hyoko die? How was it? Actually, I don't even have to ask. I totally expected your reaction. That was totally the worst movie I've ever seen. Is it even okay to call that a movie? But thanks to that movie, now you know, right? Yeah. Just like you said, the characters who were killed in the movie matched the victims in his case. Ibuki's death by hanging matched the Scarecrow's death in the movie. And not just that, but Hyoko's suspended body matches the lion's death too. Oh, so hers was the lion's death. Huh. Hmm. It would have been a complete imitation if the killer killed three people, but it seems that wasn't possible. Perhaps the killer is upset about that right now, or if the killer's main goal was just an imitation murder, they should be upset about it, but I'm not sure if that's even true. Huh. So let's go to the motel. Let's see what's going on over there, because Hyoko had a key on her. So, hmm. Huh. Okay. I just remembered I never went inside any of the rooms in a motel. Plus, I don't even know where Kyoko's room is. It might be faster to just ask someone. So, how about you, sir, because you stayed here. So you You're right. Here. You're here, right? Come on out. Huh? Are you talking to me? I can see you. Did you really think you could hide in your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room was Hyoko saying? Well. Open the door to the center room. <laughs> However, are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whatever god you hold dear. And you might want to bring an extra pair of underwear. I wonder, how does this guy talk to his parents and teachers? Like, what? Is he saying that it's a death scene in there? Like, what is he saying? Hey, Hajime, can you explain it to me again? What happened when you first discovered Ibuki's body? It was the same as when I found it with you guys. Ibuki's body was hanging from the baton lighting. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's why I went to get you guys. I met up with Chiaki at this motel. I met up with Chiaki at this motel, and we were about to go back to the music venue. You met up with Mikan and me. 
And when we went back to the music venue, the entrance door wouldn't open for some reason. So we had no choice but to break down the door and discover Kyoko's body was suddenly there too. Yeah, that's what happened. This is the most important part. When you arrived at the motel, who else saw you besides Chiaki? Um, as I recall, um, it was Monami and Gundam. Hmm. Besides Chiaki, I also saw Gundam and Monami. I see. I see. So Kazuichi and Sonia didn't appear, huh? So do you think those two are suspicious? Right. Well, Kyoko was killed between the time you saw Ibuki's body and we broke down the door, right? So obviously those two are the most suspicious since they weren't with us. That might be it, but I... while we're at it, let me tell you my alibi too. When the morning Madakuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Makan panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what was going on. She said Ibuki disappeared. So, you guys split up and look for Ibuki, huh? Well, we were circling the island. We came to the hotel and saw you guys there. Did you see anyone else while you circled the island? No, we went to the movie theater and that street full of machines to look for Ibuki, but we didn't see anyone. Are you implying I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. The time that Makan and I were on our own looking for Ibuki wasn't very long. In that short time, there's no way I could have killed Hyoko and wrapped her around the pillar with duct tape. It's true, I feel like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music venue. But the fact is, Hyoko was killed and we did discover her body. What? Do you still doubt me? Jeez. Well, I'm used to it. It's true, I've done things that I deserve to be doubted for. So don't worry, even if you doubt me, I don't plan on dismembering you and encasing you in concrete. <laughs> I'd want to know in advance what I'd have to do to end up like that. So, he wasn't there either. So what about, Ak uh, no, Akane was sick. But who knows, she could have walked over too. So I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's Akane. I don't, I don't think it's, I hope it's not Akane. It looks like it's locked, but the key was inside a kimono. Maybe if I use this, it opened. Just as I thought, this key was Hyoko's room key. All right, I should go inside. Okay, so Hyoko was staying here. She only stayed here a few nights, so it doesn't really feel like her room, but I feel a little conflicted. Oh, Sonia? Oh, huh? Did the door open? Yeah, Hyoko put the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. Uh... I see. What? Did something happen? No, it's just, I'm starting to believe it might be my fault. Her fault? What does she mean? What I want to know is how you, Miss Lady, are in the room when I'm the one with the key and it was locked before. So what you doing inside the room? Sonya looked a little suspicious, and plus she didn't even have an alibi, so she's looking a little suspicious. I don't know. Oh, I see a Monokuma doll in there. Hold on. I see that. There we go, we got one. We got one. All right, the bed isn't messed up. It doesn't look like she was abducted in her sleep. Huh, so she must have been awake, maybe. So let's look at the bath. There's a mirror, but it's small and rusty. There's no way anyone can use this. So nobody can use the mirror. Huh. Um. The moment Hyoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was afraid of the despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too, right? However. However, her fear of the disease was not the only reason she locked herself in her room. She had another reason. Besides that disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in her Perhaps. room? Her kimono. Her kimono? Yesterday, I went to go talk to her. Since she had been in her room for some time, I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked, but by coincidence, it was not locked at that time. And then I saw it. What? Um. Oh, Hyoko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. She did not want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but when she did, she could not tie her sash anymore. Mahiro's no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. Huh. She didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? Right. The others might have thought it was just a silly sash, but it must have been a serious issue for her. Uh. Hyoko told me that she learned how to tie her sash from Mahiro. So that Mahiro kindly taught her the basics. That's why she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. Yeah. She probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mahiro taught her. I could not really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? Hmm. Hyoko. By chance. By chance. Are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Yes. Stupid. <laughs> what are you saying? Of course I can do it. No, you can't. Because Mahiro taught me. Mm -mm. That's why. I can do it on my own. It's okay, baby. You can do uh, it. Um, if that is the case, hmm. how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Do you remember hmm. the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? If you uh -huh. do, while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, hmm. shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. Hmm. 
Um, and that was when she kicked me out. Could it be, Hyoko, remembered that? Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? Huh, I can see that happening. Hyoko locked her room and made sure she put the room key inside her kimono. I can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, did you tell anyone that before the incident or was someone listening on to your conversation? I never told this to anyone, so I do not believe anyone was listening to our conversation. Nobody knew. If that's the case, how did the killer know Hyoko was going to the music venue? Something's wrong. Huh. Because I was thinking that too. Like... If she can't see herself in this mirror, she had to go to the mirror that was in the storage room. And that's probably where she died. Or no, she was taken. I don't know. She was in the, she went to the music venue though and the killer knew that she was gonna be there. So I don't know if Sonya is one of the killers. Or is the killer. I don't know, so we're gonna figure it out. There's no sign that someone made a mess of her room and I don't think she was forcefully abducted. I feel like I couldn't really find any important clue. Oh well, hmm. Let's leave then. I wanna see what's up with Nekamaru too because he is not accounted for as well. So let's see. Oh, what's up with my pet? What's up with the pet? Oh, oh, so now it's an ape. Now it's a gorilla. All right, all right. So this this pet just changes into whatever the hell it wants to. So let me just go ahead and give it a gift. Let me get, get this despair meter gone. Let me go ahead and give it another one. There we go. So now we got two more hearts left. So we got a gorilla as a pet now. Got it. Huh, let's talk to you guys. Well? I feel like I haven't been here in a while, even though it's only been a few days. Hey, you prepared that surveillance camera unit, right? Yeah, so I didn't make any weird modifications or anything. It's not like I'm suspicious or anything. Didn't you get this from that shady looking alley where all those machines were lined up? Yeah, just tweaked it a little. Then, if there are other surveillance camera units, wouldn't it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from those cameras too? No, that's impossible. Originally, surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors are only used as part of the same unit. The video that was filmed with the hospital camera can only be viewed on the hospital monitor. The video that was filmed from the music venue camera can only be seen on the music venue monitor. But if I left it like that, we wouldn't have been able to communicate, so I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you guys are able to view the hospital footage from the music venue and vice versa. However, each surveillance camera unit manages its own broadcast based on a specific number. So even if you bring the same model camera or monitor, you won't be able to interfere with the signal. Meaning, even if another surveillance camera exists, it'd be impossible to broadcast with it. However, I didn't just swap the cameras. I modified them and increased the wireless range. If I hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to use it. You're right, we did work on that. So, hmm. Huh. Hey, Hajime, there's something I want to ask you. You first discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue, right? But why did you go to the music venue? You had a reason for that, right? Did you see something with this camera? Right. Oh, I also wanted to ask you that. It'd be different if the surveillance camera unit could record, but it's only good for household functions. Hey, hey. Tell me, Hajime. Yeah, that's exactly it. I saw a strange video in that surveillance camera unit. I saw the video of them walking. It showed the music venue stage. There was a black curtain hanging like there is now, but the whole display was pretty dark because they were just using candlelight. There was rope hanging from the ceiling and beneath that there was a step ladder on the floor. And right away, a person wearing a hospital gown and a head bag on their head appeared. I didn't know who it was because her face was covered, but now I know that must have been Ibuki. She walked straight to the step ladder without any hesitation. She climbed that stepladder on her own free will, and then she grabbed that rope, and that's all I saw. The candlelight being used must have been snuffed out or something because the screen went dark all of a sudden, and it wasn't displaying anything anymore. Huh. Well, if the candlelight goes out, obviously nothing will show up. Modern surveillance cameras have infrared functions, so things can still show up even in the dark. But the one I got from the machine alley was a really old model. Ah, uh, hold on. At the time, you said you didn't know the person wearing the headband was Ibuki, right? Yeah. Mm. You didn't know it was her, but you saw she was trying to hang herself. So you rushed over to the music venue to try to stop her. But I didn't make it in time. Still, if she climbed the stepladder on her own, doesn't that mean she committed suicide? Wouldn't that mean she's her own killer? Ibuki committed suicide? What do you think, Chiaki? Mm. There's no doubt Ibuki climbed the stepladder on her own, right? Yeah, there's no doubt. If so, mm. huh? Mm. Don't think for so long. If you don't know, just be honest about it. Hey, well, of course she doesn't. There's no way we'd be able to figure that out so easily. Hmm. What is it? 
Yeah, I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. I'm heading over there. What the heck? She ran away all of a sudden. She said the conference room, but why would she mention a conference room all of a sudden? Also, I just might be overthinking it, but did she seem a little upset? Huh. I want to check out their rooms. I want to check out their rooms individually. Oh, Akane, weren't you just at the music venue? Why are you here? I'm finally getting back to my normal oh, self. Why? Hajime, help me out with my recovery. You can touch my boobs if you win. Girl, I don't want to do that, okay? No thanks. She was bearable when she was quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling the after, after effects. She'd beat me up if I said that out loud. Anyway, why are you here? Hey. Well, I've never been sick or hurt before, so I had no idea, okay. but hospital gowns are pretty comfy. I was thinking I might as well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you plan to wear hospital gowns from now on. Mm. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. It looked like there was one gown for each patient's room, so I thought they'd be more in the empty rooms. There weren't any gowns? Yeah. Yep, that's right. Ibuki died wearing one, so the only one left is the one Nagato was wearing. <laughs> if I have no choice then, I should just use Nagato's. It's a unisex size, so I'll probably be able to fit in it. Hold on, what happened to the gown you were wearing? Mm. Are you saying I should wear the one I already wore? That's gross. Wearing clothes someone else was wearing is even grosser. No time to dilly-dally. I totally left Mikan back at the music venue. Crap, I gotta go back soon. Well, it's okay since I already investigated the music venue, but leaving her on guard duty was a bad idea. So let's go over here. Oh, this is spacious up here. Oh, what is, what is it here? What is it here? What is that? Hazard? Is that a hazard sign? Okay, so, oh, so that's on. So, so, Okay, I can't I can't go in there. I don't think I can go in there. So let's leave that alone. Okay, there goes the conference room. But what else is over here? The staff room. So let's look in the staff room. Oh, this is the on-call room. Okay. So let's look here. This isn't a room for patients. It looks more like an on-call room for hospital staff. But all this cluttered medical equipment makes it look like a storage room. If this is the only on-call room, working at a hospital must be tough work. So if a room like this exists, that means there used to be people here, right? Seriously, what the heck is going on with this island? Okay, so let's look around. Let's look over here. Let's see. Medical equipment and nursing tools. There's a lot of the other medical stuff here too. This room looks like it used to store equipment. There's nothing particular that catches my eye. Huh. Nothing over there, but let's look at the bed. Huh. There's a bed. It resembles the ones in the patient rooms, but these are probably for breaks. Now's not the time to rest. I should go back to investigating. I mean, I'm not really trying to rest. I'm trying to find clues here and trying to find a monokuma doll that I still cannot find. So it might be in the other room, huh? Okay, so let's go to the conference room. Let's see what's in there. Oh, what's this? It's pitch black, I can't see anything. Where's the oh. switch? Don't turn it on. Huh? Chiaki, are you there? If you turn on the light, it's gonna be fully exposed. It'd be embarrassing. What's fully exposed? Hey, Hajime, if you poke out your eyes, you can turn on the light. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna poke them out? I'm not gonna poke out my eyes. Aw, bummer. Troll fail. No sooner did she finish saying that, I heard the dry sound of curtains being drawn. There was a flash of intense light that stung my eyes a little. I squinted my eyes until they started adjusting to the light. Oh, and I saw Chiaki had finished opening the curtain that was covering the window. Hey, hey. Were you surprised? Surprised? I don't get it. I got it. Got what? The curtains in this conference room are designed to completely block out light. There's a projector in here, so they were probably careful about lighting shining through. See? a black curtain that blocks light and is also long enough to reach the floor. It's perfect. A black light blocking curtain. That's why it was so dark. So is something wrong with it? I'm still in the middle of investigating, so it's a secret. Yep, she's upset. But still, what was all that about? That bit about it be being embarrassing if I look and troll fail. I just wanted to mess with you. Yep, she's definitely upset. Why is she acting so childish? I guess I'm done investigating the hospital. I should move on to a different place. No, nah, no, I'm not. I'm not done. I'm not done. I want to go ahead and look. Hold on. Because this this is the curtain that was in the, in the cinema. This is the curtain that was in the cinema. Who was in the conference room? It might have been. Why is why is it pointing to Makan? Why is Makan the one that I'm thinking that is suspicious? Or Nekamaru? One of them two. Makan or Nekamaru is the one that did this. I think. Hello, how's everybody? Doing? I'm not ready yet. I'm it's I'm not sure. Monokuma. I'm not this sure. The last trial's gonna start, you know. So huh. make sure you guys come to Monokuma Rock. I'm not I'm not ready. I'll see you soon. I'm not ready. Huh, it's already time. So this again. I need to go to that place again. But now's not the time to be a coward. The reason Ibuki and Hiyoko became victims, in order to find the truth, the only thing I could do was go. Mikan and Nekumaru are looking very suspicious to me. 
Everyone who heard the announcement had gathered in front of Monokuma Rock, and soon enough, there's Monokuma's ass. Is everybody here? Do you guys want to go to the class trial? Hey, Turk, hold it right there. What? Don't get in my way. You're just a dumb little sister who's short a few brain cells. My brain works just fine. Monokuma, what did you do with Nekamaru? I see. So you've come to avenge him. Avenge? It sounds like he died. Sounds like, you say. Ooh, anyway, since Nekamaru's unfortunately unavailable today, let's just say he's absent. Now then, I gotta go first. Hold on, I won't let you escape. Hey, did you hear what he said? Don't worry about it. There's no way Nekamaru was dead. He just shot to piss us off. Of course he's not dead. There's no way. Not in a million years. More importantly, it's best if we worry about ourselves for now. If something happens here, every one of us except Nekamaru will die. Why are you excited about that? Who knows? Maybe I'm just looking forward to seeing Poetic Justice prevail. What are you saying, Fiend? You'll find out soon enough. Then let's go. All right, let's hurry up and get this over with. Yeah, you're right. Huh. Is Nekamaru really dead? And here it is. He just rolled out the escalator for us. Jeez. We stepped onto the escalator and ascended toward the gaping mall of Monokuma Rock, and that's when I suddenly noticed it. I noticed our lined up silhouettes would keep getting smaller and smaller, but I can't turn back now. If I turn back, I won't be able to press forward. Huh. Hmm. And when everyone was inside Monokuma Rock, that's when we felt despair. The elevator doors opened slowly, almost tantalizingly so. Light poured through the other side, eroding the boundaries of the darkness, and I walked into that place. My, my, it feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats. Well, two people got killed at the same time, and Nekomaru's not here either. Is Nekomaru really not participating? If he's alive, you should invite him. Why bother? What? Now then, let's begin. It's the beginning of the long-awaited class trial. Please enjoy it to your heart's content. So he didn't answer if Nekamaru is alive or not. And so the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. Ibuki Miyota, the ultimate musician. She was really loud, but she was the mood maker of our group. When I was with her, all of my pain and suffering just seemed to melt away. Hiyoko Sayanji, the ultimate traditional dancer. Just from looking at her adorable face, you'd never know she was actually selfish and foul-mouthed. But she was trying to change herself, and she was desperately trying to come to terms with my hero's death. The person who killed those two is among us. Oh, man. I definitely can't believe it. But whether I believe it or not is irrelevant. Unless I figure out the truth, I won't be able to escape from this hell. That's why I must find out no matter the cost. For our sake, for our friend's sake, for Ibuki and Hyoko's sake. Huh, and so the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. This life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. And I don't know why, but my sensors in my mind are telling me to look out for Mikan, Sonia, and um, what is his face? Uh, the one with the hamsters. I don't know why, but those three seem like suspects to me. So, let's start. <laughs> all right, class trial, all right. I don't mind starting the trial, but uh -huh. I don't really have a grasp of how the case played out. I don't either. You know, I'm, I'm lost. Because I was asleep the whole time. Huh. Even if you do grasp it, you're just going to confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? Yes, he is. But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. You're fine. Well. Your head's empty anyway. Hey, don't, don't insult her. Empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? Oh, uh, she didn't even take it as a, <laughs> she didn't even take it as an insult. <laughs> the emptier your head. The more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? That's, that's a good outlook. Anyway, <laughs> we shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. Hmm. Since he's the first witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? Okay. Then, let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because uh -huh. of the despair disease. The right. hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and mm -hmm. Akane, who were infected and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. The other right. five on the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hyoko. Uh -huh. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. I woke right. up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Mikan mm -hmm. came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from his symptoms. Hmm. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery, I made Mikan rest in the on-call room since she hadn't slept all night while I waited in the hospital lobby. Right. And then, I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. When I pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... 
somebody walk into the their desk. Someone wearing a hospital gown and a hip bag on their head. Right. Climbing a step ladder. Amazing. That's such a hard pounding story. And then what did you do, Hajime? It's like he's trying to get high off of stop this. Them, of course. <laughs> I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded, the music venue. Exactly. But then when I got much. there, yeah. By the time I arrived, the person wearing the hemp bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. The others right away. So I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because mm. it was close to the music venue. And unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. Exactly. Least, that's what I thought. But the only person who came with me was Chiaki. But mm -hmm. I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. Exactly. We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our site. After hmm. I rested for a bit, I started counting everyone at the hospital. And uh -huh. then I noticed Ibuki was gone. So I, I sprinted out of the hospital. Coincidentally, mm -hmm. I ran into Fuyuhiko. So I fled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. In various ways. Various ways. Right, what does that mean? Don't say it like that and confuse people. Right, I'm like, what you do, girl? I heard from those two that Ibuki <laughs> disappeared. I had found she was the person wearing the hemp bag. Hmm. So I immediately led them to the music thing, but the door wouldn't open. Yep. Since locked. we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. Which made that broken drumstick. And when that happened, we didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's. Exactly, and like it was brand that. new. Her body was taped to a pillar. See, the only reason why my mind is thinking that it's Makan, and I'm probably wrong about that, um, is because the way that she's on the pillar, the way that she's on the pillar, and it seems like someone took care to stop the bleeding, which is something that a medical person would do, and I'm thinking that that's Makan. So, but I don't know. I might be wrong, y'all. So don't quote me. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. Right, one so for each body. We decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? Mm -hmm. When we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it, it was, was Ibuki. Ibuki. So that's how the case played out. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I understood it very easily. Okay. Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who would? How do I know anything Hajime just said is true? What? Oh, so now I'm a liar? Sorry. Now I'm a liar. I'm being impartial right now. And the story I just heard is clearly suspicious. So you tell me what happened then since you Hajime, was there. I mean. If you're the only one who <laughs> saw the hanging video and the first one to discover Ibuki's body. Right. You could be lying as much as you want right now, right? Oh, don't, don't turn this around on me. Why would I lie? Don't turn this around on me. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. Do you what? Me? If you're not lying, I would like you to prove it. Okay. Come on, try to prove it to me. Okay. Prove you're not the killer. Got it. Got it. It's just as Kazumichi said, Nagato's the kind of guy who'll just confuse us and make matters worse. Damn it, I should have explained it to Nagato. I'm in trouble now thanks to that. Sheesh. God. All right, here we go. Now I gotta make my argument. Okay. So let's see. Oh, it's a lot of things. Oh, the movie's invitation ticket. I didn't see. I didn't see the movie until like Hajime's that day. testimony is clearly suspicious. If Hajime's testimony is a lie, then the fact that Ibuki hung herself. Uh huh. That would also be a lie. No. I don't think I can deny that possibility. What? After all, Hajime is the only witness. Okay. Why would Hajime lie? Right. Well, obviously, because he's the killer. God. Did Hajime kill both of them? No. The no, I didn't. The bodies were imitating the movie. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. My movie ticket, my movie ticket! Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. We got that, we got that, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay. Hajime's testimony. Let's go, let's go forward. I need to shoot out that white noise. Because my movie ticket shows that I saw my shit this morning. So. Thank you. Let's go ahead and shoot that. No, there we go. Not. There we go. I saw it this morning, and you know, because I was there, and you were there with me. Sheesh. I'm not the killer. I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. Exactly. Of course you're not. I already knew that. Then why are we wasting time, Nagato? Before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. God. His invitation ticket is proof of that. Each person Sheesh. only received one ticket. And they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. 
Isn't that right, Monokuma? And y'all yes. know this. No mistakes there. Which means there's no way Hajime, who never saw the movie, could commit murders that imitated it. Or okay. did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? Of course no one did, right? No. Hold on a sec. You're the one who brought this up in the first place. Exactly. Nagito, what are you doing? Well, since Just we're causing confusion. With your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. It also provides a good warm up. Or you could have just started out the conversation saying, hey guys, I know that Hajime isn't a killer because he saw the movie this morning after the incident had already happened instead of accusing me to be the killer and confusing everybody. God. What warm up? This isn't a game, you know. And premiere. <laughs> Don't get mad. I just think warming up is really important. Especially since this isn't a game. It is though, oh, but. <laughs> well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. Now hmm. then, since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the argument. Thank you. So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm positive. Then that seals it. Ibuki committed suicide. But somebody could have told her to do suicide. it. Then who killed Hiyoko? I don't know that. A murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide. Hmm. Ain't possible, huh? Like I said before, it's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. The killer murdered Hiyoko while wow. Hajime was gone. Yeah, while we so left. So all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. Then let's ask Hajime. Hmm. How long would you say you were away from the music venue? I couldn't have been gone for more than 10 minutes. Right, it wasn't that so long. So killed Hiyoko and taped her up within 10 minutes? There's no way that's possible. That's huh. why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. Hmm? Hmm. What do you mean a closed room? The killer blocked the venue door from the inside to try and keep us from entering right away. Right. However, that door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? If they mm. blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Which means, when we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. Okay. <laughs> I know I keep saying all of my theories, and some of them sound crazy. But, is it too far-fetched to say that Ibuki is the one that maybe killed Hiyoko? Or, I don't know, I think maybe Ibuki may have not been dead when Hajime found her and then got up like other dude did, like from the first game, he wasn't really dead and moved the body or something like that. So she could have been not dead and, she could have been not dead and then she, Killed Hiyoko for some reason and then killed herself afterwards and she was actually dead at that moment. I don't know. So, let's go. <laughs> if that's hmm. the case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. And that's right. you two, Sonia and Kazuichi. And I was suspicious of Sonia too, so she's not off my radar yet. Why's it gonna be us? The huh. others all have alibis. Mm -hmm. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. Gundam right. met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. And mm -hmm. if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. There's another so person who doesn't have an alibi. You know, Nekomaru. He is missing from this case. Hey, why are you talking like, huh? He's trying to talk like Nekomaru. You're kidding, right? You're... Not up to something weird, are you? Hmm. Please stop making bad jokes. Anyway, if the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. Right. What a way of backing us into a wall. Hmm. Is this his professional skill? Hmm. Maybe he is part of the game, so I don't know. The killer was inside the music venue. See, he go obviously thinks so, but is that really it? Huh. Or were they with us? It's so many possibilities in my mind that could happen. It could be that the killer is still in there, which is Hibuki, or it could be somebody that was out there with us and just ran really fast. I don't know. The killer was still inside the music venue. Hmm. By locking the door from the inside. Right. They tried to keep us from getting in. Uh-huh. It seems they were trying to stall for time. Hmm. How did they lock the door? 
Let's that see. door should not have had a lock. It didn't. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Uh huh. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? Uh huh. You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside. But what drumstick is that we fit? together. And suddenly appeared. Hmm. So they look like they had just rushed over. Right. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. Huh. That person's remark contradicts the truth. I should be able to prove that with my evidence. Oh, so, hold on. Okay. Okay, so I think I was on the right thing. The music venue. Yes. By locking the door from the inside. Okay, so let's shoot. No, 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 no. I want to shoot that out. Can I, can I shoot that out? Can I shoot that out? Thank you. No, like, what? Wrong. Okay, all right, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> God, I knew what I was trying to shoot at. Hold on a sec. There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. From right. The outside. How? Was a because of that. Glob. Why would that be on it? Maybe that semi transparent glob. Like huh. Rubber, maybe? It wasn't rubber at all. The semi transparent glob was probably glue. I see. Right. A gummy. Why does it say gummy? <laughs> Must have been glue. Right. Yeah, I think so too. It had a firm gel-like chewiness. And she was the one to eat it. No workshop chemicals. The moment I put it in my mouth, based on all that, I'm certain it was glue. Mm. I didn't know glue was edible. It's not. I believe it is not something one right. typically eats. It's not. That She's just was crazy. Glue applied to the areas where both doors touched mm -hmm. by pouring it in the gaps of the closed door. They must have sealed the venue door from the outside. Huh. And thanks to that, a glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. What? It fits perfectly. But then, where did the broken it drumstick come from together? together? With glue, you'd be able to break down the door easily, you know? Hmm. That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> What'd you say? First hmm. of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Yeah. Almost unnaturally so? It did. It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Are okay. you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Make us think and that I, they were still inside. I totally fell for that fucking trap. Apologize okay. to Miss Sonia. Uh, and me. <laughs> However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time. No, <laughs> it's like you're not going to get out of it. <laughs> That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. So, okay, you just hang in there, the man. 10 minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer mm. murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space. And they also taped her up after killing her, right? Mm. Even quick work has limits. Oh, what mm. unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. I don't know, Makan, because I think that you might be a killer. I don't know. I don't know why. I'm think my mind is pointing to her. And I could be strongly wrong. I don't know. If they couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from the venue, they could have done it before. Done it earlier than that. Yeah. But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? But that was the only one that he saw. It could have been somebody in the. You know what? Her body could have been in the um in the storage room. Hiyoko. Hiyoko's body could have been in the storage room, and carried in there. And someone had stopped the blood so that it wouldn't be any blood tracks, maybe, and then tied her up later. Hmm. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that happened, maybe. And when you went back with everyone else, Kyoko's body was there too, right? But it's possible hmm. that the body was just revealed at that time. Correct. When Kyoko was actually killed earlier. Just mm -hmm. revealed? Of yeah. course. The body wasn't revealed on its own. Mm -hmm. The killer did that too. Here, I have proof. That's what I was thinking as well. That scrap of paper. Is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? That's right. Mm. But just what is this scrap anyway? Oh, I know what that is. I do. That scrap was stuck on the baton lighting in the music venue. Now I should be able to figure out what it is. Okay. So, oh, is this Hangman? Okay, so we're doing Hangman. Okay, 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 okay. So that was the wallpaper. Wall paper, right? Okay, so let's let's get this going. So I think that that is W, W, yep, A, A, uh huh, yep, the wallpaper. 
Let me get an E. And, okay. There we go. Get those together. Get this there. Get that there. There we go. Let's get the L's. There we go. Get that. It was wallpaper. Okay. Let's definitely... Oh, shit. Okay. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I'm trying to get rid of the freaking letters. I'm trying to get rid of the freaking letters. Sorry. 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 All right. All right. Ah! Ah! Don't... Okay. I should stop saving letters. I should stop saving letters. I should stop. I should stop saving letters. That's what that means. That's what that means. Okay. So, let's get the... E Damn it! I'm trying to... Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. So, let's get that, let's get that gone. Let's get that, let me get the L! Thank you, Jesus Christ! Okay. God! Oh, I, I am losing it right now. I just need to get the freaking P's A. Let me get the A, god damn it. Let me, fudge, man. Oh! Let me get that together, let me get that together. Bam, bam. Bam, put that there. Ah! Oh no, okay, okay, all right. I'm, I'm trying to get everything out the way, damn it. I'm trying to get everything out the way. I, excuse me, I know what I'm trying to say. I know what I'm trying to say. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, I just need to get an E. Okay, thank you, let me get that bad. Oh my Jesus Christ, why am I doing so bad at this right now? Oh my God, okay, get that gone. Get that gone, give me that damn R. Sheesh! I know what I was trying to say. Lord. I don't know why I did so bad right there. I don't know what's going on with me. <laughs> Isn't it part of the wallpaper in the storage room? Yes. Yes, it is. The music venue storage room. The sheet hmm. in black wallpaper that's the same color as that scrap. Right. There was also a tear along the edge of the wallpaper. Uh-huh. If so, you're right. You overlay the scrap that was caught on the lighting, tear in the wallpaper. Mm -hmm. See, it fits perfectly. Exactly. I see. So the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting was originally part of the wallpaper. Uh -huh. What's wrong with that? Does it have something to do with Yoko's body disappearing? Maybe that's what she okay, died. Nobody like me. I don't know. Important enough to answer that. Oh come but on! Now they're gonna make me do it. Exceptional enough to identify that scrap of paper. You can figure this out easily. The scrap of paper stuck to the baton lighting was part of that wallpaper I found in the storage room. Is it connected to the sudden appearance of Kyoko's body? If I trace it back from there, the answer should come clear. All right, let's give this a try. So, let's see. Oh, the logic drive, oh shoot. Forgot how to freaking jump, yo. <laughs> I think I forgot how to jump. Nope, that's break. Okay, this is going forward. This is going forward. It's jumping that. Okay, yep. Got it, got it, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so let's go there. Let's bam. Hit that. Oh, yeah. We dodging it. There we go. There we go. Now I had to I had to get the controls right. I had to get the controls right. So excuse me, y'all, if I was messing up before. I forgot the controls for a second. <laughs> okay, so let's jump. Bam. Question one. Why did Kyoko's body suddenly appear at the scene of the crime? It was hmm. It was hidden? Maybe? I think maybe it was hidden. I think maybe it was hidden. So, let's go with that. There we go. Yep, yep, it was hidden. Okay, there we go. So, right answer, right answer. It was hidden. There we go. Let's get to the end. There we go. Got that first one right. Let's move it. Let's move it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, let's get over there. Okay, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, y'all. All right, next. Question two, what did the killer use to hide her body? Oh, the wallpaper. Duh. <laughs> the wallpaper. So, let's go. There we go. Hey, we got it right. Hey. <laughs> okay. Oh, they trying to make it harder now. Now they trying to go like single squares. <laughs> okay, y'all not gonna catch me. Y'all not gonna catch me slipping. I don't think so. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna get this. Hmm, her body was hidden in the storage room, maybe. How did the killer hide her body with the wallpaper? Um, they covered the pillar. They they covered the pillar, right? They covered the pillar? Right? Yes! Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, good. We got it right, we got it right, we got it right. There we go. There we go. Hey, we did it. We did it. We did it. 
It's all coming together. Alrighty, now I got it. Oh, I like how the music just stops like that. <laughs> Kyoko's body was hidden before we found it. But it mm -hmm. would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. No, the body no. was already taped up and the killer hid it, along with the pillar using the wallpaper. Mm -hmm. What? They hid the pillar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. By wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create a slightly larger pillar. Right. So she could have been there the whole time. Kyoko's body was already there. Correct. And then they took it away. It was concealed within a slightly larger that's pillar. wild. I didn't realize that at the time. That's wild. Well, that's understandable. I hmm. mean, it makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body right away. So they used the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper? And that means that my original theory of Ibuki doing it might be wrong. Might be. <laughs> the baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar. Mm -hmm. So using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. Then right. The reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers was to make it look like that pillar. Exactly. That's how they hid Yoko's body. Mm -hmm. And then killed off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music thing. And revealed the body. Mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper. Mm -hmm. And because of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. That the hamster's the must got. Have been in a hurry. Their plan took too long. Hajime could have walked in on it. But going to the trouble of hiding the body and the pillar is very cool. And it's... Mm. The crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. Mm -hmm. They just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it, and stash it in the storage room. Mm. It's not that big of a deal. Trying to figure out mm. who the actual culprit when is. When was Hyoko actually killed? Good point. Hmm. And on that note, you gonna pass it's it to about me? time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Um, hmm. You mentioned imitation murder more than once. But what is that? Imitation based Are off you of like a movie. Me? You haven't seen my masterpiece? Oh, the Wizard of Monomy 2.5. We don't want to see it again. We don't want to hey, see it again. Don't put my likeness in your movies <laughs> without my permission. It's a copyright. You're pretty noisy for someone who eats mothballs. I don't what? eat mothballs. I just enjoy looking at them. Okay, let's just get away from that. There are so many similarities. It must have been intentional. Hmm. Ibuki's death by hanging matches the Scarecrow's death from the movie. Not right. just that. But Hyoko getting taped up after her death matches the lion's death. It's hmm. as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie. Although the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. But why did the killer <laughs> go to all this trouble in the first place? Based on what right. we know, the reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. Um, the reason the killer imitated the two victims in that movie, I should be able to explain that now. Um. to mix up the killing order or because they like movies. I see. Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. To mix up the killing order. <laughs> the reason the killer imitated two of the murders from the movie was so he'd mix up the killing order. Right. And Kyoko was actually killed before Ibuki? Probably. A valid line of reasoning. Yeah, it's valid. Mm -hmm. The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. What do you mean? Oh? <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. Well, listen I'm up, Gundam. I'm crying. Right! I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. Oh, why you get so hostile? Because you still look suspect in my mind, Gundam. So. Oh, I see. <laughs> Just like, okay. Because you don't understand what I'm saying, right? An mm. even bigger jerk? Ha! Impossible! Oh. <laughs> Ibuki died because she hanged herself, right? That mm -hmm. means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. What's Correct. wrong with that? But it seems mm. Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was killed. That would mean Hyoko was killed before Ibuki. <laughs> <laughs> How light. Your <laughs> words are so light, as light as the silk's feather. Okay. <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. Dude, well, get to the point. Right. First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. 
Correct. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? Well, if you look at the bottom of her feet. That's only possible if her feet were on the floor. Yes. It seems you suffer from a pathetic delusion. No. You're one to talk. Right. Anyway, this continues just going to talk in circles. I think it's best if we clarify Ibuki's status when Hyoko was killed. Um, I think it's the blood on her slippers, right? The blood, yep, blood on the souls. There we go. There we go. Blood on the souls. So, let's look at that. When Hyoko died, mm -hmm. Ibuki's feet were on the floor. Yep. I am telling you to present your evidence. Hmm. Did you see her walking? No. Well, uh, if her feet were on the floor. Her, her bet, there was a handbag was there any on sign it. she stepped on something? Yes. Were there even any footprints at the crime scene? Um, Maybe I didn't her see feet that. Were no. on the floor. That she was like sitting or something. Mm -mm. So instead, there'd be a mark on her ass. No, no, no. Weak, weak, weak! I say. <laughs> it doesn't even pierce my heart. Okay, so it. All right, I got it. Says Chiaki said Ibuki was still standing when Kyoko was killed, but is that really true? Okay, it had to be true. I am telling you to because she had blood on her feet. That's the only way. Okay, hold on. Let's get that out of the way, and then let's shoot that. There we go. I agree with that. Hello. Just as Sonia said, Ibuki stepped on something. Which was blood. Was blood. Uh huh. Blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She mm. suffered no external injuries. No. But it's Hiyoko's blood. Right. Hiyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. Mm -hmm. And she died almost instantly. And you would get a right? lot of blood if pouring Ibuki from that. Stepped on her blood. It means Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was mortally wounded. Which mm. means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hiyoko was killed. But was Ibuki the killer then? I don't know, y'all. I'm getting confused. Was Ibuki the killer then? She could be. She could have been the one to kill her, or or assist in killing. I don't know. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye. And here he go. Good lord. All right, I'm trying to figure it out too, sir. <laughs> Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of lamb, Hajime Hinata. What? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Why? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good line. What? <laughs> Are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this mm -hmm. world might be destroyed, you know. Okay. You're so frightened, you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. Sir, However, I don't care for none of that. The fiction starts now. You better entertain me to the fullest. Okay. All right. So let's 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 go, man. Let's go. Let's go with this. Okay, scrap of paper, the candle, the smudge, the smudge on the floor. The smudge on the floor. There we go. Smudge on the floor. Yeah. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belonged to Hiyoko? Let's huh, get that gone. Try to remember the crime scene. There was huh. no. You can't step on blood that was never. <laughs> Just about hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay. Despite his exaggerated protests, I feel like I've already seen an opening to counter. Okay, is this a trap? Oh, so they want me to do it right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, got it. There was no blood on the There we go. The smudge on the floor. There we go. Shut up. Shut up. Thank you. Thank you. That's not it. The reason there was no blood on the floor is because the killer wiped it away afterwards. Correct. Don't say such foolish things. Oh. You don't have proof of that at all. Oh, yes, yes I do. I do. If you look closely, uh -huh. there's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. When right. When the killer tried to hide Kyoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but hmm. Ibuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. The hmm. reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Hmm, maybe. Even if they're able to hide Kyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Plus, Ibuki's hmm. body was left out in the open, and, and it, it was wasn't just... bleeding from any open wounds at all. Kyoko's body was covered was up. wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Hmm. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating. Hmm. So I don't think they had to go that far. Aside from Mika, hmm. none of us were aware of that fact. 
so the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe the heater was running inside the music venue so it would screw with Nikon's autopsy? That's Maybe. Right. I didn't know the time of death because of the heater. But who would know that other than you? Just to keep concrete evidence from us. Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object, right? Oh, who gonna do it? Yoko was killed before Ibuki. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. Yeah, back it up. But regardless of good or evil, mm -hmm. there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. Can't you just okay. shut up and back off? Now then, let us <laughs> like, continue our debate. Stay relevant? Uh, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Uh, what? Again? Didn't something like this happen last time too? Yes. If the victim actually committed suicide, what are we supposed to do? Well, I mean, this this did happen in the first game. Somebody did commit suicide, but they decided to punish the computer that was helping us. So I don't know who he would punish in this case. I, I really don't know. Suicide. As always, you have to vote for who the killer is. Think mm. about it. A suicide means you've killed the most important existence of all, mm. yourself. Unfortunately, that means there's no blacken to punish, but I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. Oh! <laughs> um, Nagito, okay. what do you mean? If the victim actually committed suicide? Because we well, don't know that I yet. Mean, I understand Hyoko's death. Yes. I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. That's what I was thinking too, because I'm like, I have so many possibilities in my head, because it's like, okay, the killer could have told Ibuki to go kill herself, and she did it, or Ibuki could be the killer herself that killed her or something, and then she killed herself afterwards. So I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of possibilities out there. For example. It's possible Ibuki killed Hyoko. Right. And committed suicide due to a guilty conscience, right? Or someone That's told totally her to impossible. do it. Then she never would have killed her to begin with. She was afflicted by the despair disease, remember? Correct. That means anything can happen. But mm -hmm. if Ibuki's the killer, she wouldn't have been able to falsify the sequence of the murders, right? After Hajime saw the hanged body, the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body soon after means the killer had mm. to be alive at that time. Then she was alive. Huh. When Hajime first discovered Ibuki, okay. she was just pretending to be dead. So if she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and mess with the crime scene. She, uh -huh. she hanged herself. Remember? There's no fucking way she could have faked that. If she was going to fake her death, I think she wouldn't have chosen hanging. Hmm. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined her plan. Hmm. Hmm. See, so that means there's no doubt that someone killed those two. Okay. I'm glad. Okay. Now I'm free to search for the killer. Okay, never mind. He wasn't agreeing with me. It was. It was just they were proving my proving one of my theories wrong. Okay, got it. What, what the heck? Ah, there's huh. still one more issue on my mind. If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, mm -hmm. just what was that video Hajime saw? Maybe something to make me think that she committed suicide. According to that video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? Correct. And does that mean someone forced her to do it? And that's what I'm thinking, because she was doing a gullible disease. Perhaps. No. Hypnotism or something? No. I don't know anything about that. Don't say it all proud. Uh -huh. Huh. Putting that aside, it seems obvious that the killer did something. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that was. That's what I'm so, trying to figure out. An alibi. Then our mm. plan is to destroy the weakest alibi. Oh? Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Uh, mm -hmm. But just to be sure... That surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? No, it doesn't. She's that surveillance camera, you know? Yeah, There's no, no way. way. It have some kind of sweet recording feature. Then the video Hajime saw mm -hmm. was actually live? Yeah, what it was happening in front Hajime of him. Hajime see that video? I saw it at the hospital, right before Monokuma's morning announcement. Uh -huh. And I saw the body at the music venue a little after Monokuma's announcement. Mm. Mm. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And mm -hmm. since we established that Yoko was killed before Ibuki, that means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Hmm. Then we just have to find the person 
who doesn't have an alibi during that time? Well, let's talk to now everybody. Then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> She's so proper. <laughs> All right. Let's make my argument. So. Hmm. Let's see. We can exclude the sick people like me and Connie, right? Uh-huh. And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, mm -hmm. I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. Right. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. So all y'all look suspicious. You guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. Mm -hmm. That's not an alibi. Uh, why not? Aside from those afflicted by the disease. Mm -hmm. If nobody has an alibi, then Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed. Hmm. The murders. The murder supposedly happened before and during the morning announcement. The person who doesn't have an alibi for that time is Sonia, right? We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? Sonia, right? And what about the others? Mm hmm. Right before the morning announcement, so I was see. totally asleep. I think everyone. So everyone is. What about you guys? So let's see. Was, but that's not. Is that the most? If nobody has an alibi, so then. I think it's you, right? No. Oh, okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. All right. All right. All right. All right. And what about okay. the others? So right before the morning announcement, maybe Macon. I was totally asleep. I think everyone. Is, so let's everyone fast is. Fast forward all guys? the way to the was, end. That's not. Is that the most? If nobody has see. an alibi, then keep that one. No, that's wrong. There we go. Makan. Hold on. Not all of us are missing an alibi. Mm -hmm. In fact, Mekon and I both have alibis. Right. You, you two have alibis? Yeah, we, we slept together, apparently. Mekon and I were actually <laughs> together for a while. We even woke up together that morning. Hey, what kind of situation is that? I mean, I was trying to figure out the situation. I accidentally fell asleep on top of Hachibu. <laughs> She's like, yeah, what? It's not like that. She just came to tell me Nagato's condition had improved. And we went to the hospital. <laughs> He's today. like, I'm not sleeping so, with her. So we were together until right before the announcement. I get it. Mm. You guys have alibis. If that's the case, mm. the killer must be someone else. I guess else. I should get off of Macan then. Okay, I should get it's off of Macan. It's better think about it like that. The killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So mm -hmm. it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Right. Mm. It feels like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has backed us into a corner instead. Of course it has. But committing an imitation murder, mm. is that really all it was? I don't know anymore. Taking the time the crime occurred by falsifying the murder sequence, Hiding their alibi in the process? Mm. Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies imitate the movie? Are you saying there was another reason? Right. I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much. But that's how I feel. Because I honestly don't know anymore. I feel like with this case, my mind is going everywhere. So all the theories that I have could be wrong. And I don't, I don't know even what to think anymore. I don't. I think the killer had a completely different reason for falsifying the murder sequence. Which would be, the killer had a different reason. If that's the case, are we still in the killer's trap? Inside a trap set by one of us. So if so, then who's? And what kind of trap is it? I'm trying to figure that out myself. Oh, suspended. Oh, okay, this is our break. The reason the killer did an imitation murder is a reason for, other than falsifying the murder sequence. Does something like that even uh. exist? Suddenly got quiet in here. I think because we're all Did thinking. I confuse you? Yes. If so, I wish I could die from self-loathing. Sir. Man. Right. Just again. Just if that's just... <laughs> the case. It would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. You know what? At this point, I want somebody to do it so that we can move this game faster. All right, let's move the game and get it done faster since you keep wanting to offer yourself up. All right. If that happens. The imitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? Well, I don't know. It's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. Oh, that well, then that's harsh. it. I couldn't get killed because of that. Oh my so god, you're upset. Shut up, already. shut up forever. Right. But I'm oh, now he's quiet. Again, man. He's totally right. It feels incomplete. Because they mm. didn't kill three people like the movie did? 
That's only because of Monokuma's rule. But is it? Not just that. Come on. Try to remember the content of the movie. It was the Wiz, the Wizard of Oz. About the lion that got killed second. That's mm -hmm. the one Hiyoko's body was imitating, right? Hmm. Hmm. Even though we're calling it an imitation, the lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? That's what I was thinking as well. It wasn't slit. But Hiyoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. Hmm. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Maybe. Well, that's probably it, but that attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. Wouldn't they want to do it exactly the like it? was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have hmm. taken steps to properly imitate it. Correct. But if they never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you hmm. trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm saying, huh. Yoko's murder wasn't. Oh. No. Yoko's murder wasn't um, planned. I understand that imitation wasn't enough, but... Assumptions? It's huh. not just the poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Correct. Strange details? Like what? Like, for example, mm. why did Yoko go to the music venue? Oh, so she could have got killed when she went to the music venue after Sonia told her to go look at the full-length mirror to see herself. And because she, she probably walked in on the killer, maybe. I'm thinking that she probably walked in on the killer telling... Or, or hold on, I don't know. They probably walked in on the killer doing something with Ibuki, maybe, and got killed because of that. Who knows? Why did Hyoko go to the music so, venue? You're saying the truth behind Hyoko's murder is hidden? I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say. However, this is getting quite <laughs> interesting. My four dark devas of destruction are getting riled up. I bet they are. Why Hyoko went to the music venue? Is that the key to all of this? I need to find out, no matter what the cost. Okay, so she went because she had to go fix her kimono because it was all messed up. So, hold on. Oh, Jesus. Um, it's hmm, the motel room. I don't know. Why did Shoko hmm. go to the music venue? Hmm. There's no way we know that. Maybe the killer summoned her. Huh. If that's not it, maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, that's not it. No, maybe she went of her own free will. That, that, I agree with that. That right there. There we go. I agree. It's just as Sonia said. Mm -hmm. She went to the music venue of her own free and will. You would know that, Sonia, because so, you told her to go. Exactly as I assumed. If no one uh. called for her, then why did she go? So you know. locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's right. no way she got abducted? No. Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was mm -hmm. forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Mm -hmm. Just to hide no. the fact Yoko got abducted. I don't they think couldn't so. have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. Right. They would put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. Mm -hmm. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that. I won't lose. Oh, oh, Akane, please don't, please don't make this harder than it has to be. Okay, I like Are you. Are you saying my gut was wrong? Yeah. This could be my first and last highlight of the day. Oh. Why won't you just let me shine already? Baby, because no. that's that's not the issue. That's not Shut all right. Up. Enough with your fancy talk. All right. Shut you up right now. She just want to fight somebody because Nekomaru's not around. So I get it. You just want to fight me because Nekomaru's not here. All right, got it. Got you. Got you. Let's see. Uh, Sonya's account. Yoko was locked inside her room, right? Yep. She definitely got abducted. Or the killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Possibly uh -huh. abducted. The girl is so small and weak looking. Hold on. And that's why the Hold killer on. targeted her. Hold on. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Hold on. Let's advance. Hiyoko's room was locked. Right. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? Correct. It's more likely that Hiyoko locked the door herself. Mm-hmm. The killer was the one who locked the door. Uh uh. So what if the key was in there? There we go. Let's Maybe get these. The killer just put it there later. No, no, I, I don't think so. Down. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, Connie. Come on. There we go. 
There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hyoko's kimono. Thank the killer you. probably didn't realize she even had the key. Mm-hmm. Hold on! Try remembering Hyoko's body. Her kimono was all messed up. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it was. It was messed up. I mean, Hold like, on. Sonya was there, you Hyoko's know. Her kimono. There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. Uh-huh. She caught the killer. That's no. She was abducted, right? My no. Is totally right after all. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. 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 Okay. Hold on. This is the final stretch of Akane's argument. She's finally revealed her ace in the hole. There's clearly a contradiction in what she just said. I just need to tell her. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So let's get that gone. Kimono was all messed up. Okay. Let's leave that because it was messed up. But Sonya was the one that told her to go fix it. So. There we go. There we go. You ain't gonna get me a Kane. The reason Hyoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Mm -hmm. Wear her kimono? Yeah. It's also yep. the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Hyoko mm -hmm. seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. Mm -hmm. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. So she didn't want anybody to see her all that messed is up. I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue. Mm -hmm. And I suggested that she use it. But she didn't know she was leading her to her death. Her kimono was messed up. Or did she? she the yeah. Hmm. She went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. Because there was a mirror I there. Didn't. I lost. Boil me. Burn me. Take off my clothes. Oh. Do whatever you want to me. No, baby girl. We're not going to do that. Make her admit defeat. Or uh. better yet, make her do a little something something. Can we not? Can we not do that? Okay, she's already been a victim of sexual abuse. We don't need to do this here, okay? Like, or ever. Thank you. Hell no. Man, the killer probably Jeez. couldn't have assumed that Hyoko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, mm -hmm. since she provided Hyoko with that information. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go right. doubting this Sonia, you cretin. <laughs> he always got her back. Her six feet under. Oh! Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. Oh. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps <laughs> I could do that while you're wearing them. He said, don't you break my hamsters. For his sake. Huh? What do you mean, for <laughs> my sake? Of course. She's like, you I've will lose a fight. overlooked no less than 10 opportunities to kill you. Oh. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, <laughs> why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? Probably because she saw what happened. It was an unfortunate coincidence. Right. Coincidence? Maybe she saw what was she happening. she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. Correct. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? It probably Maybe. Happened. When the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki, the uh -huh. killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head. And without hesitation, went to see her and killed, killed her. Kyoko. Huh. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. Yes, it did. The they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which mm -hmm. means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? Pride was trying to kill Ibuki. Just flat out kill her. But had to make it look like somebody was imitating the movie because Hiyoko came in unexpectedly. So maybe. They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. Hmm. So do you have any ideas? Huh. Damn, we don't know the most important part. Right. The killer's plan from the beginning. I'm pretty sure we're very, very close. Hey, Nagito, any ideas? Oh, he's being quiet because we told him to shut up the whole time, so that's what he's doing. Hey, how long are you going to stay quiet? He's like, you oh, told me to stop talking. To speak? <laughs> I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Oh my goodness. He actually needs help from scum like me. He's like, y'all told so me to shut you... up, I did. I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. Mm -hmm. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Which he is? He definitely didn't commit suicide. Huh? huh? What are you talking about? I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. So did I. But now I remember. There was blood on Ibuki's slippers. Mm -hmm. So if she faked her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, 
There'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. That's so correct. that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed suicide. You huh. know, we already finished talking about that a while ago. Huh. Really? That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be. I mean, no, right. If Ibuki had blood on her feet, there'd be footprints all over the place that she kept walking That's around. Strange. That's very strange. He did say something strange? valuable. Well, what's strange? Hmm, I see. It's not something we finished talking about. Those footprints, there's still an important clue left that we completely overlooked. Just as Noxo said, if she had blood on her feet, she would have left footprints. Then why, why weren't there any footprints on the floor? Huh. Maybe because... There's blood on the step ladder, though. Huh. The step ladder? Let's see. Maybe that's it? I can prove it. Okay, okay, there we go. Okay, I was I was second guessing myself. There we go. She used the step ladder to hang herself. It's mm -hmm. strange that there weren't any footprints on it. But there's blood on the side of it. There weren't? Yeah. No. That step ladder was completely clean. No footprints or blood stains at all. Yes, there is. There's blood stains on it right Jeez. there. What is such a small detail? How amazing! This is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate. Okay, don't don't. Okay, whatever. What are you talking about? You are obviously leading us to this. That's why you brought up the suicide topic after this all this time. Nagato Komaida, you're definitely someone I shouldn't Wait, underestimate. Didn't you say you saw that video of Ibuki climbing the step ladder? I don't know though, because their head was covered. I think there's no doubt that she really did climb it. Their head was Unless covered. There was something funny about that video. Correct. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video. Mm -hmm. But yes, that's there was. Only Hajime would know. Since he's the only one who saw that video. And I do. So just let thought it comes down to that. The mystery surrounding this incident is contained in that video. And whether or not we can reach the hidden truth is all up Hajime, to me. I leave it in your hands. As y'all always do. As I mean, y'all do that all the time. You, <laughs> I won't tell you to do your best, but oh well. You should get started already. Oh, well, thank I'll you. Try. <laughs> if there was some hidden clue in that video, I should have seen something strange as I watched it. I'm the only one who could clear that up. I'm the only one who actually saw that video, so I'm the only one who can do it. The hanging video that I saw, based on everything we know from the debate thus far, I should be able to figure out what's strange. Okay. What's strange is this. There we go. The head bag that was coming to her face. Based on that, I don't think... Damn, it doesn't look suspicious. What? Okay. All right. All right. Whatever. Whatever. Um... Okay. Damn no. It. Okay. Got it. Got it. Um... The, the step ladder? I, okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> like, th doesn't the head bag make it seem like that's right, not her? Now. There was okay. definitely something strange about that video. All right, whatever. Can you explain it to us? I guess I was wrong. What's strange is that step ladder I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. It's true that the steps of that step ladder weren't dirty, but on one side there uh -huh. was a blood stain right on the left side of the step ladder. Oh, there's no blood on it in the video. However, that contradicts the video I huh. saw at the hospital. There was no blood on it. There weren't any blood stains on the step ladder in the video. Because there's two step clean. ladders. That is true. If the video showed the moment of Ibuki's death, hmm. then Yoko should have already been dead by that point. Hmm. Even so, the fact is the step ladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. Correct. But the step ladder in the video was completely bloodless. Hmm. There's no way the video was recorded in advance. Because it's live. If that's the case. The only thing I can think of is... It's possible those two step ladders were completely different. They Wait, were. Are you saying there were two step ladders? Yes! Did y'all not look in the storage room? Oh my god. But where yes. would you find another step ladder? The storage room. There was room. only one step ladder in the music venue. No, it wasn't. And one of the step ladders was somewhere other than the music venue. <laughs> what do you mean? You're mm. suggesting... That the step ladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? That's huh. amazing, Chiaki. All that gaming has given you incredible deduction <laughs> skills. <laughs> Is it okay to say that? I would say yes. Uh, what are you two talking about? Hmm. The step ladder isn't the only thing that's different, huh? Chiaki said that the step ladder was at a different place, but 
If that's the case, the thing that's different between that video and the actual scene of the crime is that thing, the place where the killer did something. What? Okay, another hangman's gambit, damn it. Um, oh no, what? What's the difference between a video I saw and the actual crime scene? Hmm. I'm trying to think of it now. Okay, so let's get rid of all the letters right away. There we go, let's get that, bam. Let's get that there. No, 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 okay, so it's not an M. It's not an M. It is not an M. Okay, maybe an F. Is it F? Oh! Foo you. Nope, it's not Foo Hiko. Okay, so it's not a G, because that wouldn't make sense. Um, what is it? But nope, okay. So, F I. F I? The. What? What? What is the difference between the video I saw and the actual crime scene? Fi what? Phil. Phil. Filming? Filming? Fi filming? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's get that gone. Let's get that gone. Filming? I'm thinking that's what it is. Okay, oh Jesus, here we go. Here we go with the clashing. Here we go with the clashing, Lord Jesus. Film. Okay, uh, and, oh, let me get to the N! Oh, I got it! There we go, let me get to the G. Filming. Filming what? Is it, oh, damn it. Okay, okay, let's get that gone. Damn it! Oh! Lord, 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 Lord. Okay, bam, bam. Filming, Film location? Filming location, maybe. Let's get the ends out the way. Let's get that out the way, bam. I need a O then. There we go, bam, oh Lord. Okay, low, I need a, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I need a C, there we go. Low. Put that there. Ba ah! Damn it. Let's get that gone. I hate, oh, I hate this because it goes so fast and my cursor is so freaking slow. I should probably get that faster. Okay, there we go. Little K, I need a T. Oh, Jesus Christ. I need a, ah! Okay, there we go. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Oh, Lord! I just need to get all these out the way. I just need to get all of these out of the way. Damn it. Oh! I need the T! Okay. Let's get that. Bam. There we go. I feel like this is the worst I've ever done in the hangman ever. Okay, I need an I. There we go. Oh! I need the I. There we go. Let's get that. And let's get that. Bam. 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 What? Okay. Bam. There we go. Sheesh. Let's get that out. Let's get the, oh! Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my Lord, I am going to probably lose because I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. Oh my goodness. Location! I need the N, give me the N, give me the N right now. Give me the N right now! <laughs> oh my God! I'm doing so terribly at these freaking things. I need to get my skills up. Besides the step ladder, the filming location must have been different too. Yeah, it was. What do you mean? I mean, the video I saw was not filmed at the music venue. Y'all, yeah. y'all. Yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking that it's I'm, it, it's pointing at Macan. It is pointing at Macan as the killer, y'all, because that curtain was not a full length curtain for the stage. Okay. I probably said curtain wrong just now, but whatever. It was not a full length curtain for the stage and it came from the freaking hospital. And the person that was in the hospital was freaking McCon. And McCon would know to bring that over to make it look different. And that looks like a feminine body right there. So it might be McCon's ass, like I was saying originally. Cause I was I was expect I was suspecting a lot of people, okay? But now I'm I'm pointing towards McCon. McCon is the one. McCon. Sweet, sweet Macan, I'm gonna get your ass. It was filmed somewhere else. Mm -hmm. 
that the hospital monitor is supposed to display footage captured by the music venue camera, you know? Then, mm -hmm. there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera Could unit. be Macan. In order to show us that they filmed the video at the music venue instead of somewhere else, what did the killer do to that surveillance camera unit? Huh. Logic dive. Okay, so let's go. Let's race again. All right. We got it. We got it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go this way. Ooh, ooh. Let's get out the way of that. There we go. Okay, let's not forget how to jump and everything, Jasmine, because I kind of got screwed up last time when I was doing that. <laughs> so let's keep going. All right, let's go through again. Question one, which part of the surveillance camera unit did the killer tamper with? The, oh, I got three choices. The both, the camera, the, I'm thinking both. Both? Maybe? Think it both. No? Okay, all right, all right. It definitely wasn't that. All right, it was the camera. Okay, got it. Got it. it was, so it was the camera. They messed with the camera. Cool. Hmm. I would, oh, wait, no, they couldn't mess with the monitor because then why? Oh, no! Damn it! All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get back over there. Let's get back on track. Let's get back on track. Lord, I str I'm struggling with these little uh things over here that they're doing with this, with trying to figure shit out. Like the arguments and the logic dives, the hangman, gambit, everything. Oh no! <laughs> okay, okay, let me, let me probably try to slow down once things get a little too crazy. Okay, let's slow down, there we go, there we go. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, did the killer tamper with the camera at the music venue or the, ho the hospital? The hospital. Yes, the hospital, because that's where the freaking black curtain was. That, no, okay, obviously it's not that. God damn it. All right, so let's go to the music venue. So they tampered with that one? Okay, I'm confused again. I'm confused, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm so confused, Lord Jesus. All right, let's get through this, man. I gotta get, I gotta get my hearts back up. I gotta get my hearts back up, Jesus Lord. Whew, let's get through it. Let's get through it, Jasmine. We do not have that much time. We do not have that much time. Let's go, let's go. What did the killer do with the camera from the music venue surveillance camera unit? They Took it with them, maybe. Took it with them? I don't think they could increase the signal. Right, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, 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 we got it. <laughs> I struggle with that uh, a lot, so my bad. My bad. <laughs> That's it. The killer just brought the camera from the music venue. With mm -hmm. it, they made me think it was a live feed from the venue. And it was actually from somewhere else. It was else. at the hospital. Then only the monitor was left in the music venue? Yes. Mm -hmm. At least when I first discovered Ibuki's body. Then it but was destroyed. when Yoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. Mm -hmm. That means you should have realized that from the start and made this easier on all of us. Excuse he me, Akane. the body. I doubt his Jeez. attention was focused on the camera. Right. Well, that's true. But in order to hide that the camera was missing, mm -hmm. the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. I mean, they broke it. The thing the killer did to the remind, they destroyed it. There we go. I see. They destroyed it, they broke it completely. There we go. The killer smashed the monitor to pieces, destroying it. Mm-hmm. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. My attention True. was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. I mean, if you see a hanging body, you're not gonna be looking at everything the else around you. you. <laughs> the music venue, the killer put back the camera they took. Mm. And they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. Mm -hmm. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. I Despite know. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. Mm -hmm. The fact that it was able to connect between the hospital and the music venue is amazing enough. Huh. Which means even if it was filmed in another place, as long as it was transmitting to the hospital, the range would be pretty limited. If that's the case, where was the video filmed to make it look like it was filmed at the music venue? 
it, the only possibility is that place inside that building. The hospital, right? It gotta be the hospital. The, oh shoot, good lord. The, the conference room, conference room. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. We got it, we got it, bam, oh. We need a, we need an N. Let's get an N, there we go. Give me the N, bam, con, F, E. There we go, we getting it. Conference room, there we go. Con, oh, oh. We need an R. Let's get rid of that C, I feel like that's gonna be no, yep, it was in a way, it was in a way. Okay. Okay, so let's get that. Let's get this out the way, let's get that out the way, let's get that gone, let's get that gone. Bam. We need an E. We need an E. Okay, let's get rid of that too, because I feel like that's gonna get in my way. Conference, I need an E now. Okay, there we go, there we go. Let's get that, bam. Let's get an N. Let's get that right there. Let's get that there. Let's just get that gone. Bam. Let's get the N. Then we need a C. Let's get that gone. Where's the C at? Where's the C at? Where's the C? The C. C, 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 C. Get that gone. Okay, there we go. Bam, bam. Now, let's get an R. Let's get all these ends out the way. Bam, gone, gone, boom, boom, gone. Let's get that, bam, bam. There we go, bam. Aha, uh -huh, we getting it, we getting it. Oh, ooh. oh, Jesus, I messed that up, oh! God, as soon as I said we getting it, I didn't get it, all right. Let's get that going, get that gone. Let's get the O's gone, we gotta get the M back. Give me an M. Give me an M. There we go. Conference room at the damn hospital. McCon! It's you. It gotta be you. It gotta be you. It gotta be you, man. Possible that it was filmed at the hospital's conference room. Uh huh. Conference room? But the yes. hospital and the music venue look completely different. That's exactly but at the, the curtain. Something to make those two places resemble each other. Right. To make the conference room look like the music venue, the killer went ahead and did some work. I've got to make clear what that work was. It was definitely that freaking, um, wait a minute, let's see. The music venue, wait, wait. The music venue curtain. There we go. There's no way the conference room. Uh-huh. And the music venue look the same. Mm-hmm, because it's your ass. resemble the other? Hmm. Did the conference room look like the music venue? Hmm. Or did the music venue look like the conference room? Hmm. Or did they make some kind of set? Yes. They he did. Have tampered with the camera. Uh-huh. I still can't believe he mixed up the filming locations. Uh, ma'am! Archie May, you're pretty stupid. Ma'am, shut up! Okay, I like you, but like, shut up right now. In order to make the hospital conference room resemble the music venue, what did the killer do? I should figure that out first. Okay. There's no so, way the not that. Room. Which place was in? Did the conference room look not like that the music one. venue look like the conference room? Let's get rid of that. Bam, bam. And hit that. That must be it. There we go. Hey! <laughs> what the killer did was make the music mm -hmm. venue, the crime scene, look, look like, like the conference room. Yep. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. Uh huh. From what I remember, there used to be a really flashy curtain, but after the incident, it somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. Right, and they got that from That's that right. room. It's so half-assed, just like Monami. Oh, what? Yeah? Why? Well, your face looks stupid. I feel like they're a big distraction from the trial. In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, mm -hmm. it, it was a missing. Light blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. Correct. I see. The conference room. Indeed, the floor of that room is. Mm -hmm. 
is the dark. Same color as the music venue stage. Correct. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor match. But how would they know that unless matching they were in the floors, room? Matching curtains. Huh. I guess it makes sense you'd mistake Macon. the two. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Hmm. Something else the killer did to make the venue look like the conference room. It's gotta be that. Huh. It's gotta be. Let's see. That? I can prove it. With there this. we go. Okay, the candle. There it is. All right. You're referring to the candle and the music video, right? Mm-hmm. In the video I saw, a candle was used for lighting. If you think about it, it's pretty strange. The music Correct. venue has good lighting, so there's no reason to even use candle lighting. Uh huh. Wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? Oh, that wouldn't might have you been do another it? reason, but. The main reason was probably to tamper with evidence. Hmm. The lighting in the conference room and the music venue are so are different. different. They couldn't be used during filming. Mm -hmm. That's why the killer used a candle with film lighting instead. Huh. Which means... Are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? That candle mm. was likely placed there just to make me think to make it, it the same candle that was used in the video. Uh-huh. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Mm -hmm. Maybe they were going for that effect. So that we can properly see. Camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. Uh-huh. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is decided. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. It was mm -hmm. actually filmed at the hospital conference room. If yep. I found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. Mm. But it appears the killer already covered that up. So I didn't find anything when I went there. And the killer's no very mistake. smart. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance camera. The motel would have mm. been too far. And the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. Yep. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. Why? I never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. The mm -hmm. incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference room. Yes, we get it. I feel like I've heard Bayside cops say that before, but isn't it the other way around? Um, if Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, mm. then was Ibuki killed at the conference room too? No. No. That's not possible. Right. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. They could have done it that fast. The video was filmed at the conference room, but Ibuki's body was at the music venue, which means there was a fake somewhere. That fake must have been... The fake is the Ibuki in the conference room, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm like, I know I'm not tripping. All right. <laughs> the person wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. Right. It was... The killer pretending to be Ibuki. The yes. killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hint bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. Mm -hmm. By that time, the real Ibuki must have already been killed. Mm -hmm. The actual time of death must have been earlier. Mm. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. If they took Ibuki from the music to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. So that's what happened. Then no matter how quickly I ran, it was impossible for me to rescue Ibuki. At that moment, I was already in the killer's trap. And the one who set a trap but for me was- why did the killer was... go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? Huh. Oh. the killer made a fake video, there's only one possibility I can think of. If I hmm. examine that possibility thoroughly, then naturally the killer's identity will reveal itself. Macon. You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? I think so. That's right. I should already know. I should have already known who the killer is. Ooh, girl. Ooh, I'ma get you. You. Ooh, you! You're the only one. Yes, you're the only one that could possibly do it, bitch. You're the killer, aren't you? Aren't you? Oh. Is this a fake? Is this a fake person? No, I don't think it's a fake personality, but I think it's like you. Like I said, aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Hyoko? Uh-huh. You're not saying no. I'm the killer? What is this? You're not saying no. Hey, 
Don't you think that's kind of impossible? No. A chick like her is the killer? No. She couldn't even kill a fly. In fact, the fly would probably kill her first. Oh, that's why what she wants you all to say. That's right. A, a clumsy slowpoke like me killing someone? Hmm. That's completely out of the question. But we're the only ones. Right, and I didn't do it. Video, we're the only ones who have the advantage of an alibi. An alibi? Right. Was that the killer's goal? Now that you mention mm. it, you guys brought that up early. Yep. Only Hajime and me can't have an alibi. But I didn't see the movie until just it's recently. It's a coincidence. Oh. You're the only one who could have filmed that video in the hospital conference room. Is that also a coincidence? Right. Is it? Is it? Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Then if you insist, I will use the on-call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. <laughs> that time, to get me away from it. The on-call room, but you actually went to the conference room. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's when you put on a hospital gown that you prepared in advance, put the bag on your yep. head, and began filming. By doing that. Uh -huh. You made up a video that showed Ibuki trying to hang herself at the music video. Makan, man, and showed that to me. Okay, okay. See that? See how I be? I be guessing the killers sometimes. <laughs> what? Furthermore, what? I saw that video at the hospital lobby. If someone wants to go to the conference room from outside, mm -hmm. they have to pass through the lobby. So it's impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital mm -hmm. went to the conference room to film. Correct. Not only that, the others in the hospital, Kane and I, were both delirious from the despair. Y'all yeah, were out of the game. So. That so. Must mean... Please wait a second. Oh. What are you saying? You're not giving any evidence to say no. There's no way I could kill someone. It's oh, really? literally impossible. Can't you give a better defense than that? Right. She shows she can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? She could be. He, it's totally wrong. It's not what you think. So tell me Just then. Like Connie said. Tell me then. It's really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Nikon is the killer? Tell me what's going on. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow-witted woman. Oh, damn. That slow-witted remark is right. not necessary. It's, it wasn't. It's, it's fine. I've been like this for a long time. In a tournament for social punching bags, I easily win first place with my soft reputation. Oh, poor baby. Even I can't deny that. But did you kill them? How many times do I have to What do you say, Hajime? Do Just because she's crying. This woman is the killer? Do you hate me that much, Hajime? That's not the case, baby. I'm just trying to figure out who's the killer so I don't die. So I'm sorry, but the, the tears are not bruising me at all. Hey, Hajime! Um. Oh, so now they all, everyone's ganging up on me now. Okay. Oh, come on. Tricks aside, logic aside, is she really capable of doing something like this? Could it be I'm the only one, I'm the one making a mistake? No, in fact, it'd be much easier if I was wrong. If I have this much doubt about someone I've spent so much time with. Can you hold on a minute? Huh, huh? Well, I know I'm being intrusive and all. Uh-huh. I mean, I have no place to say this. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time like this. So then what? What are you saying? But still, there's definitely no way I can overlook the kill this time. Oh? I thought it was suspicious all along. Uh huh. From the very beginning. Oh, really? Investigating with the suspect in mind creates a different result than investigating with no leads. Uh huh. He's right. What are right. you trying to say? Well, thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. Oh, what is it? Are you serious? I've been so focused on everybody else in this trial. Uh huh. But I guess now's a good time to say it. Right. Well, spill the beans. You not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know. It is, but you know, Actually, come on. This is a game. Right. Please don't say such controversial statements. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know, Nagito? Well, mm. it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive clue. Okay. Thanks to the killer. So get hey, to it. That's a huge deal. A huh. decisive clue. Does something like that really exist? Let's Better hope it doesn't. 
gosh. Regarding the rope Ibuki was dangling from, this right. rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? Mm-hmm. There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Correct. Again with the supermarket? That place is a hot spot for criminal goods. It actually if is. They got it at the supermarket. <laughs> that means it was brand new, right? Uh -huh. What's wrong with that? I want you to take a close look at this rope. And keep in mind that it's brand new. Okay. It's near the middle of the rope. It's frayed. Oh. As if it was rubbed strongly. Oh. But why is it like this? Hmm. The loopy booty used to hang herself is on one end of the rope. Hmm. And the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. Hey, you're taking mm. too long. What's wrong with the rope being frayed? It means, well, from what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. To strangle her? Maybe? Yup! The killer wrapped okay. the rope around Ibuki's neck. And strangle her. And both ends at full strength and strangled her. Oh. The center of the rope is frayed because that's the part they used to, she strangle, used to strangle her. And then that's probably when Hyoko walked in and saw that they were getting ready to kill her ass, and then they killed her. Huh? Oh, God. I've been listening to you for a while. Hmm. It sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. Well, he wasn't addressing what exactly it. Exactly, did you say to me during the investigation? So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. Not everyone cooperates in a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. Oh. Just like this case is killer. I was just copying them a little bit. Oh my god. More importantly, what was all that about the rope? The killer strangled Ibuki. And then, and then, I finished speaking. Ha! How is that a decisive clue? Oh my god. Huh? You didn't notice it. I thought I made the decisive clue very clear. Hmm. Nagato's words contain a decisive clue? Is that really true? Oh lord, here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, the rope used for hanging. Let's see. It gotta be that, right? That gotta be the bullet. I think. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. Mm -hmm. She was strangled to death. Uh-huh. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. Mm -hmm. The scars they leave would look different too. Hmm. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Right. Why would that be? Because she was hanging. Did we fall for someone's lie? Hmm. The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. Right. Why the else would we? The file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. That's true. Whoever misunderstood us to blame. Hmm. Ibuki's true cause of death was strangulation. That fact is the decisive proof that will lead to the killer. Is that true? Okay. Ibuki so, didn't die from Hank. She was strangled. Let's see. That's basically the still hanging and straight the scars. Let's skip forward. Scars. But we believed it was. Why would that? Be? Did we fall for someone's lie? Possibly. So let's see. That must be it. Uh huh. So we agree with Kazuichi like twice in here. <laughs> so that's what happened. Hmm. We've been falling for the killer's lie this whole time. Hmm. There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Yes, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt that she died from hanging herself. But bitch, you did it. So that's why. Oh, girl. You good. You good. You oh, you good. Yourself, but that was a complete lie, wasn't it, Mikan? Uh-huh. Well, is... well... You oh. told us the wrong cause of death. Uh-huh. You lied, didn't you? You lied and we all believed you because you were a sweet Makan and you were the autopsy girl. Ooh. Oh, don't scream. You should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling. Just by looking just at by it. Just by looking. Hmm. You, Mikan. Uh-huh. Nurse. Uh-huh. Please wait. My, my, my gut intuition is good. <laughs> Right. And you have been a great help to us so far. 
But even a drunk medical student can notice the difference between a hanging and strangulation. I'm not right. taking her side or anything, but being clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake. He's totally hmm. right. <laughs> I'm such a clumsy mess, and I got so careless. But you fall from you. You're clumsy from falling. Nikon nursed me till I huh. got better. There's no way I'm gonna doubt her. Of course, everybody should take her side now. Ocean and right. What helped her draw Ibuki to her death? Correct. Huh? And if not. Her symptoms were still very serious mm -hmm. and caused her to believe what anybody you believe told anything. Her. She could just lie. It wouldn't surprise me if she willingly followed Mikan because she was nursing her. Uh huh. So, so Mikan volunteered to nurse us because she was planning to do this all along? Maybe. That's a little. Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone else of being thieves? I'm not <laughs> a criminal. Mikan is. I mean, she's a killer, you know. I, I'm sorry to think that too. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Huh? But there's no way I can forgive you. Ooh. I just can't forgive this crime at all. Oh. Um, forgiveness or not, mm. we still have not decided if Mikon is the killer. That's because y'all think that she's defenseless. Mm -hmm. I see. Huh? You guys are kind. Well, if that's the choice everyone makes, then the only thing I can do is back off. I guess. He wants to die anyway, so he's like, all right. really okay? Is that everyone's hope? It's not mine. It's freaking annoying. If you keep <laughs> talking, I'm seriously gonna beat you up. <laughs> I'm really, really not the killer. Hmm. There's no way I'm capable of killing someone. You're looking mighty suspicious, Mikan. really true? Right. Stop it already. That's enough. I can't stop. Right, I'm not trying to die. I don't want to do this either. Right. Of course I don't want to do this. But I need to do this. Thank you. You doubt your friends? That's I'm right. down the liar. I suspect them because I want to believe them. Well, what the hell does that mean? Um, I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. Huh? Mm -hmm. I do doubt her. But I still, still want to believe want her. Still want to, yes. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. Because mm -hmm. if there's no room for doubt, then there's no reason to believe, is there? D mm. Don't say deep stuff. I don't really get it. It's okay, baby. You you were conflict. You had you had some complications as a child. You know your child life. So I, I understand. If you want to believe in someone, you need to overcome doubt first. Mm -hmm. Belief without doubt is simply a lie. Fine. Hmm. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. Thank you, Kane. Huh? Is that all you can say? Oh, notice her voice changed now. Here we go. Here we go, Miss, um, what? Celeste number two? Let's go. Ah, so in the end, hmm. you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? Oh, just really? Huh? Yep, I was right to think she was a killer. Making excuses for why it's not really your fault. Yep. Okay. Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> always. Yep, I was right to think that she was the killer. It's all her I was fault. right. I was She's right. She's the one with the problem. <laughs> I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done. Okay, girl. Hey, hey. Mika. It's not fair. Mm -hmm. It's not fair. Not fair. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is her breaking point. This is her breaking point. You forgive yourself right away. What did I do? Why won't anybody forgive me? Because you exactly killed them. Like this your strategy now. Right. This is annoying. Plus, to be honest, I've run out of ideas. Hmm. How can we get you to it? I think she is now. That's the issue. I think she's admitting it now. Any clues. Why don't we have her give us some? Mm -hmm. I'm the same as Hajime. I don't want to doubt any of my friends. Mm -hmm. But still, the truth is one of us murdered two of our friends. That's Correct. Why. We gotta stick with this until the Thank you. End. We're not trying to so die we here. Finally break these chains of despair. Chiaki. Hey, Egan, can I ask you one last thing? Hmm. If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? Right. Like I said, it obviously wasn't me. Then who was it? 
would be great. Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that video? I mean, the reason, I mean, the way that you're talking right now is giving me proof that you did it, because you switched it up. <laughs> Okay. Because you're just assuming the video was filmed at the conference room. Mm. Treating me like a killer based on an assumption. Just because I was at the hospital. Bitch, alright. That's totally all right. crazy. I didn't do anything wrong. Mm. Why does everybody always hate me? Please. Just forget me already. Yeah, that she's a killer. Is this broad really okay? <laughs> She's emotionally <laughs> unstable. He's like, she's switching. I know the killer. I never filmed the, 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 the video. Hmm. Hello? It seems she finally started arguing for us. Right. But the only one who can find the hole in her argument of course. is you, Hajime. Of course it's me. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave this to you once again. All right. Could it be? Was this Chiaki's goal all along? She's saying everyone's fate depends on me, the only person who Why saw that video. To decide I'm the killer. Where is your proof? I feel like a lot of things are pointing Forgive towards you. I need to make up my mind. I'm the one who has to do it. I'm the one who's going to finish this. All right. So let's make my argument once and again. All right. Let's see. Um, Makan's account, maybe? Oh. We can't think of anybody else other than you. Mm-hmm. Who could have filmed that video. Right, because where were you, bitch? Do you have any proof? Oh. Okay. Is the handbag on her head the proof? Nobody knew. Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Yes. Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Huh. Ibuki and Mikan clearly have different body types. Right. Is that really your proof? Oh. You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? No, I can't. Just from that video? Hmm. Just from that camera angle? Hmm. Just from that dim candlelight? Okay, so she's There's she's, no way she's like, I covered up all my angles. Basically, is what she's so trying to say. Me already. No, that I can't do that. I How can't do, do that. Pay close attention and listen well. Oh, okay. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Hmm. Don't flinch, don't hesitate, don't run away. I'm the only one who saw that video. Who else is gonna do it if I don't? Okay, I'm maybe not it's not. Killer. Oh wait, I think it's, hold on. We can't think uh, of anybody huh. else other who could have filmed that video. Right. Is the handbag on her? Is the so let's go, could it be the let's get through all of this. Is that really? You could tell her body just from, just from that camp, just from that Let's see. No way you beat so let's get to the end. Hajime, I think it's you're the only this. One hold on, let's the get that out. Mistake. Oh, no, 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 I meant to hold it. I meant to hold it, I meant to hold it. Sorry, 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 sorry. I meant to hold triangle, not shoot it. All right, all right, all right, all right. So let's go, let's, let's get to the end of this. All right, there we go. So let's get this out the way and let's hold that. Bam, there we go. The killer's mistake, because she said something about the camera. So let's let's get through that. I'm not the killer! We can't let's think see. of anybody who could have filmed that. Is the hemp bag on the hospital gap? Or could it be the hospital? Ibuki and not that. that really? You could tell her nope. just from that just from that there camera we go. angle. There we go. Let's get that. Oh wait, get that out the way. Oh no, hit it, hit it, hit it, damn it. God damn it. Okay, 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 okay. Just that. From that just okay. From that camera angle. Let's get that and then hit that. Bam. There we go. Now we got your ass. Now we got your ass. <laughs> Mikan, you've committed a major mistake. Yes. Mistake? Oh, don't don't As play innocent now. Times, I'm the only one who saw that video. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle correct so uh-huh how can you know about it about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself right the only mm -hmm. reason me can the camera angle hajime had seen because she's the one that did because it because you're the person who actually filmed that video is that right correct this is your just reward mm -hmm. the more desperately you argue mm -hmm. the deeper you dig yourself into a hole correct you lied, didn't you yes she did <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, she did, Akane. Did you did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? Yes, she did. Oh. Oh, Lord. Now she 
going into her crazy cycle. Uh, <laughs> I was wrong. Wrong. No, no. That's not it at all. That's mm. not it? I mean, it's impossible. How? Impossible? You know that bag Ibuki was wearing when she died? Yep. Try remembering the tote bag instead. Ding! Hmm. I totally remember now. What the heck is wrong with her? <laughs> She's getting weirder by the minute. That right. Tote bag. Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? How do you know so much about that video? Correct. Right. <laughs> Who cares about that? Yeah, you don't know. Mm. Right. See, she did herself know that more. Bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? I do know that. And only one person could have Actually, it. You saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? Yes, Oopsie. I do. Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. Hmm. Ah! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. Okay. So don't you think it's impossible? No. Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? Girl, you the killer. Just, just give it up. Just give it up. Like, that's come on. That video isn't fabricated, and I'm not the killer. Yes, so you are. You forgive me, right? No, bitch. Stubbornness this far. Right. Such despair. Then you're gonna mm. forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! That's why that crime is impossible for anyone to pull off. Just mm. check. Has she lost it for good? Will you forgive me? No. You'll forgive me, right? Isn't that right? You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? No. At this rate, we're not getting anywhere. I gotta do something and end this. I gotta do something so I can make her admit it. Ah, huh, here we go. Oh, huh, Lord. You still haven't forgiven me? I'll do anything you want. Bam. Ah, ah. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. I'm gonna get you. We gonna catch it. Ah, ooh. Can you forgive me already? No, I won't. Nope. Me. Nope. Please, nope. Uh-uh. Do you understand? Nope. Can you forgive me already? No, I can't. I'll do anything you want. I don't care. Can you forgive oh. me already? I'll do anything you want. You're done for! Okay, forgive let's reload. Bam. Bam, bam. Got it. Got it. Oh, oh, there we go. Hit it, hit it. There we go. There we go. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, gotta get it, hit it. There we go. Okay. It's impossible to use it in two places at the same time. Theater bonus prize. There we go. This is the end. There we go. I had to look at it for a second because the other one, you know, the first one, the meat on the bone got me. <laughs> Monokuma mentioned this earlier. Mm hmm. When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to bake customers with bonus prizes. Bought that bag. So you got another, another one. Bonus prize. Uh huh. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. Thank so you. Please, just stop making desperate excuses. Just take it, man. Why can't you forgive me? Why? Lord, she is. Struggle is finally coming. She is desperate. Why does everybody? No, ma'am. It's already over. Just give it up. After I go over your crime from the beginning and show that you have no arguments left, Correct. Please just admit it already. Mm -hmm. In the end, at least let me believe in you. Right. Now we gotta do our closing argument. Let's go. I kind of like these. Though. I kind of like putting these things together. It takes me a while, but you know. All right. Let's see. So, what I saw on the monitor, um, I don't think that. that matches any of that let's see um let's go over here to the end how was a real locked room created okay it's none of those okay so none of those the small clue of the killer left it was this right okay there we go there we go the body was hidden before let's see there we go. We got that. 
Okay. And this, what did the killer do to the broadcast? They put what back to normal after destroying it? Was it this? Okay, okay, so I, was, I wasn't tripping. All right, all right. Oh, this one is really short. This one is really short. Usually I have to like edit it out because I think that it's too long, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so he saw this. There we go. And what did the killer do to the broadcast? They, no, no, wait a minute. They took, they threw off that. There we go. And then they did that and then they glued it together. There we go. Okay, that was a very case, short one. That was a very short one this time. The key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's mm -hmm. why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. Okay. When I went to the hospital with Nikon this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. The uh -huh. incoming signal the monitor. the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. Mm-hmm. When I switched on the monitor, themselves. what appeared on screen was a person wearing a hospital gown and a mm -hmm. bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. Mm-hmm. And he rushed the over to try to stop it. It was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music video. Mm -hmm. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music video. So I immediately headed over there. Mm-hmm. But meanwhile, she but took that it all. The killer's trap. Mm -hmm. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought mm -hmm. the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then Correct. they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. Mm -hmm. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time. When in uh -huh. fact, the crime had already been committed by that. The uh -huh. person in the footage wearing the bag is actually the killer acting as a fake. <laughs> went there, saw the dead body. I so I went to the music game and found the hanged body wearing a bag on its head. Hmm. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But that was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning mm -hmm. the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music venue from outside and uh -huh. as if they were switching places with me they, they went inside, inside the music and, and began set it up on their last trick mm -hmm. revealed the body first the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars mm -hmm. revealing kyoko's body when i first right. arrived and saw the hanged body i didn't notice anything strange about that pillar i didn't expect huh. it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper or have kyoko's body hidden inside exactly she's so small Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. Mm -hmm. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music video, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They of wanted course. to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. Hmm. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and mm -hmm. placed it near the music venue's entrance. Because I was thinking, how was the drumstick the that damn strong to hold the, the door from the inside. closed? Like, that didn't make sense to me. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer mm -hmm. sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. Yep. With that, the killer I gathered everybody. the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. Mm -hmm. And acted like they, they were made surprised. Us not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, mm. they pretended to be surprised, but, but inside, they knew it all along. They were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Mm -hmm. Look at her. Look, Miss Mikan. Isn't that right, Mikan? Right. This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? Of course it was. Look at her. Look at her. How dare you? Oh. Oh, what you gotta say now? Cause you caught. Whoa. Now she's laughing. Right. <sighs> it's been such a long time. Long this time for what? Feeling, I know it well. Like the floor is collapsing. Like the sky is falling down upon you. This Girl. feeling of despair. Oh, Lord. She a despair Mikon, junkie. You... What has happened to you? Right. Whoa there. Before that, a moment of your time. What? Oh, we got a boat? Damn it. I gotta be again. Shit. I just wanna get... I just wanna get an A one time. Just one time. It 
seems your arguments have reached a conclusion. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time. Huh. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who well, we all know who you vote for. Blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Well, we know it's the right one. We know it's the right one. It's McCon's ass. And everybody thought that she wasn't the killer because she was so sweet and innocent. Oh, she wouldn't hurt a fly and stuff like that. Nah, those be the ones you gotta look out for. Come on now. There we go. Hey. <laughs> now then, though it may be obvious at this Correct. point, you got it right once again. Looks like that's three in a row. That's right. Try donating the horrifying black and kill two girls is Makan Sumiki. You gotta be shitting me. Are you saying Makan, the one who nurses back to health, is the one who killed them? Don't, Don't joke me. around with me, Makan. Did you lie to us all along? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> uh, yes, apparently. Don't just laugh, say something. This is going nowhere. <laughs> and she's laughing again. Oh, this chick. Hey, hey. This is nothing like Pekko. She's actually gone mental. There's That's nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Makan Sumiki we knew. Huh? Hey. Based on my predictions, she might have caught it too. She probably had the despair disease, which was the motive for this case. What? Makan too, you say? I... I know because I was looking at Makan for so long. She was the one taking care of me after all. My consciousness kept drifting, but even so, when I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was full of despair. A despair so devoid of hope that not even a single fragment of it remained. Hold on, did you say Makan also had the despair disease? And that means she was what? sick. Hajime, has something crossed your mind? Huh? My body's heavy. No, not just heavy. Okay, so yeah. That's right, Makan felt really hot at that time. Now that I think about it, that must have been a high fever just like what Ibuki and Akane had. But of course, we wouldn't know that because we just see her on top of me with her, with my head in her ta-ta. So, we wouldn't have noticed or paid attention to it. It cannot Then be. because of that disease, Makan was, Perhaps. the symptoms that she surely felt must have been deserving of the name despair disease. Losing all hope and harboring despair for all hope. Because of the despair disease, she was likely overcome with despair. See? That's the reason why she can still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> oh, so she's still sick. Okay. Jeez. Which means the Makan standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely different person now that she's infected with by the despair disease. Right? She's a human who deserves to be called the ultimate despair. Ultimate despair? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I... That's the reason why I cannot forgive this. I mean, killing someone for the sake of despair instead of for the sake of hope? Possibly. There's no way I can forgive that. Uh -huh. For the sake of despair? That's completely wrong. Uh -huh. Wrong? Wrong? What's wrong? What I did, what I did was for the sake of my beloved. Excuse me? Huh? Huh? Who are you talking about? <laughs> if only they were still alive, they'd be so happy. Who are you talking about? Who is she talking about? Who are you talking about, girl? My beloved was the only one. That's right. The only one who never hated me. They forgave who is that? my existence. They who is that? They forgave me and accepted me. They gave me value. They loved um, me. I loved them with all my heart, and they returned it in full. Who are we talking this about? Is my reciprocation. Excuse me? <laughs> I understand that I've done something unforgivable, but you know, but you know, to transcend all this is truly love. what love is all about. Wait. I don't understand. What are you saying? You don't understand? Is it because you don't have anyone to love? Is it because you're also someone who isn't accepted by anyone? What a pity. I feel sorry for you. Wow. Even if I say this, I'm sure nobody here would understand, but love is a wonderful thing. This feeling of freedom where you no longer care about anything. My beloved and I are the only ones within that thin veil, and I'm just looking out through it. That's why, as long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, kick me, it's like nothing matters. I could just die. That's how little it matters. Who cares about hope or despair? It's love. Only love. Nagato, is this really the, the despair disease you were talking about? It seems that I was wrong. Not only was she affected by despair. You are half right. It's right to say that this is all thanks to that disease. Because thanks to the disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Remember? <laughs> Apparently that's what my symptom was. What a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease? What? What? 
But if this means she remembers something and ended up like this, are you saying you were like this from the start? Were you like this before you even came to this island? Don't get so angry. Well, first of all, the reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know? Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because of my many, because of many human relationships. So it's everybody's fault that I turned out like this, you see? Even so, the current me was most strongly influenced by my beloved ex beloved's existence. So who is it? And it was also my beloved who created the me that everyone can't forgive. But my beloved still forgives me and still accepts me. That is the key difference between all of you and my beloved. Like I said, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and then laughing again. Are you saying this is Makan? She's the real Makan? Makan, please answer me. Do you really remember? You ended up like this all because you remember. There's no way I could believe that. There's no way the person you are right now is the real Makan. <laughs> oh, you still doubt me? Then to prove I remember, I'll tell you all something nice. It's about the world and the organization that you all were worrying about. You serious? You know? <laughs> Not no, I just remembered, that's all. I knew about it all along. How that horrifying organization known as World Ender is also the organization known as the Future Foundation? Future Foundation? What? That's right, the symbol on the ancient ruins door. That's right, it was the Japanese word for future. Huh? Just what is the Future Foundation? What are they planning? <sighs> As the name suggests, the organization is the World Ender. The Future Foundation is trying to end our world. To put it simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves. What the heck? This isn't a comic book, you know? As part of their plan to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. Isn't that right, Monami? Huh? I knew it! Monami, Monokuma, they're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? Monami and I aren't members. I am Monokuma. My existence is entirely my own. So... Don't laugh. Hey, Makan, if you really do remember, then you already know, right? You already know the true identity of the traitor hiding among us. <laughs> of course I know that. Let's see, the future foundation lackey that's hiding among you all is... Oh, well, no one really cares about that, don't you think? Of course not. Hell no! <laughs> You'll find out eventually, so there's no need to be so impatient. Probably when that countdown ends. Countdown? Yo, you even know about that? Uh -huh. I don't know anything. Huh? I have a feeling that's what it is, but who cares about that, you know? <laughs> I'm drowning in so much love. From the bottom of my heart, I just don't care about anyone or anything. Is... Makan, is this really you? I won't believe it. There's no way I can believe you were like this all along, because if that's true, then who's the person we've been spending time with up until <laughs> now? The past. Past? That person, she didn't exist in the beginning. She's just in my past self who lost her school memory. <laughs> you guys considered that thing a friend. Oh. That doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. You guys accepted my past self, but not my present self. That's, well, that applies to you all as well. Memories of people, memories of events, whatever memory it is, losing memories are like losing your personal identity. Memory is the most important component in building a person, don't you think? Losing our memories makes us shadows of the past, don't you think? Hey. I don't know what you're trying to say, but in the end, it always leads back to that story. That story about our stolen school lives. Hey, so, hey. it was true all along. Our memories were taken away. If it wasn't true, we wouldn't be suffering this much. <sighs> well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? Uh -huh. Oh, Madakuma, is it all right for you to start now? Yes, Punishment time? Damn it, why? Makan, why does it have to end like this? This is too pointless. This is too much. Now then, now I then, prepared, I've prepared a very okay. special so punishment. So is she never going to say who her beloved is? So it's so, over. Yes. It's really. Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. Which is who? I can finally see them. Please forgive me, the one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. What? Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. So who is it? Who is the beloved? I don't know. Who the hell? All right, whatever. As, I mean, I, all right, all right, whatever. Just, just, let's get it going. <laughs> oh, looks like she's alone in a hospital bed. Oh. Bye bye, ouchies. Ultimate nurse Mikan Sumiki's execution. So, he's giving her sedation? Maybe? Oh, oh, what? What the hell? This looks inappropriate. <laughs> this looks so inappropriate. Oh, what is this? Somebody's arm? Oh, that looks like drugs. A little bit. Oh, oh wow, okay. Well, all right. It looks kind of 
inappropriate for a second. All right, well, whatever. It's finished. Is it really finished? The killer who killed Ibuki Miyota and Hyoko Sayanji was Mikan Sumiki, and she's been executed. She apparently committed her crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. So what? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. Let me ask. Who was that Mikan from earlier? Was that her true form, or is that itself a symptom of the despair disease? It doesn't matter either way. If she ended up like that from remembering, then all along, Mikan was never worth being a symbol of hope. Right. Even if her words were influenced by the despair disease, the disease turned her into that. If she lost herself to a simple disease, she was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that so, right? let's just move on. <laughs> Come on, let's take all the despair and change it into hope. Please, that is impossible. I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so. Like a house of cards collapsing in an instant. In the end, our friend we thought we knew ended up showing us a completely different side of herself. Then she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her malice towards us. And now, there's no way we could just move on or try to have a clear-cut attitude about these feelings. That's clearly impossible. Damn it. It would have been so much easier if she was a traitor, too. Um, too bad. That's not the case. McCall was not the traitor. The traitor is still alive. As proof, see how fine Monami looks right now. <laughs> I'm not fine at all. But if the traitor died, you wouldn't be this calm, right? I mean, you're both pawns of the future foundation, so you guys are like two hearts beating as one, right? What does that make you, fiend? You did say that you're different from Monami. Who cares about who I am? More important, I'm tired. The drama just kept going and going. I didn't even have time to eat my black bean right eye during the break. Your right eye is made out of black bean? Hey, hey. Wait, now's not the time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? Hey, you know, um... isn't it said that life is, has its ups and downs? It's fun because downs come after ups, but if life is full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? Yeah. So in order to help you guys feel better, I prepared a special event. A what? <laughs> Head over to the first island's beach. An old friend will be waiting there. Old friend? Mm -hmm. Could it be Nakamaru? Oh, is it? It is, isn't it? And Nakamaru was safe after all. Hmm. Um, safe? How should I say this? <laughs> I knew it. I knew that crazy bastard Nakamaru would come back to us in one piece. <laughs> awesome. We're starting to see the light of hope. The light of hope. Um, I'm happy Nekomaru was returning to us, but so three of our happen. friends just died, so I honestly cannot be happy, Miss hmm. Sonia. However, However even so, I'm still happy. If Nekomaru is safe, I'm truly happy. If you are happy, you should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps those who have been taken from us would do the same if they still lived. Hey, Supreme Overlord of who gives a shit? That line doesn't suit you at all. Silence, I shall crush you into dust. Um, Ibuki, Hyoko, Mikan, can you hear us? If you are unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I want to warmly welcome Nekomaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonya. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? Then let's all go greet Nekomaru. Let's make it grand even for those who have died. <laughs> Aw, Akane. What the heck? Do I still have the after effects of that disease? I don't get this at all. Oh, all righty then, let's go. Yeah, you're right. Oh, we get to see Nekomaru. Nekomaru's coming back. When we heard that, we were unable to contain our excitement as we jumped into the elevator. Oh? Uh -oh. Man, they just ran off without listening to what I had to say. Jeez, they're so impatient. Didn't they learn to stick around until others have finished talking? Um, what does that mean? Hey. You're plotting something again, aren't you? No I'm not plotting anything. I was just trying to properly explain everything to them, including Nekomaru's body. Huh? <laughs> It's their fault for not sticking around until I finish talking. So if something happens because of that, I bear no responsibility. What did you do to Nekomaru? What's this? What, I did, what did I do? I just saved him, that's all. I mean, if I didn't do that, there's no way I could have saved someone who was that close to death. So it just couldn't be helped. So what did he, what's wrong with Nekomaru? So what's with him? As soon as we exited the elevator, we started running. Hurry to the beach on the first island. All right, let's haul ass. Even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light. Without stopping for anything, we kept right on running toward the beach on the first island. So what happened to Nekomaru? We're trying to figure that out. Where is he at? Where in the world is Nekomaru? Hey. Hey, Nekomaru, show yourself. We have to come to pick you up. Please hurry and come out of hiding. We raised our voices again. We looked around the area again and so on and so forth. We kept looking for him, but hey, hey. what the hell, man? He's nowhere to be found. It. Could it be that we get false info from Monokuma again? And that's when it happened. We heard a familiar voice echo throughout the beach. <laughs> what happened? Ooh. Were y'all looking for me? Let's see that voice. With high hopes in our hearts, we turned toward the direction of the voice and then we saw something truly unbelievable. What? What? What's wrong with him? What the? What's oh, wrong with him? I've kept you waiting. Hey, what's going on? What's Perhaps wrong with him? I don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. 
That's pretty sad, you know. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> so what's wrong with him? Um, who are you? What? Uh, you too? What's going on? What's... If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. What? Um, Nekomaru, haven't you noticed it yourself? Noticed what? What do you mean, noticed? Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing. What? What's wrong with your body? What the? What the Next hell? Nekomaru Nidai. I've been reborn in the rivers of hell. What the flying is going on? Why is he now? A robot. Why is he a robot? <laughs> yeah, I was screaming too, girl. I don't know what's going on. And here goes the damn bomb. Here goes the bomb. Okay, how many days we got? How many? Okay, so we have nine days left. Cool. So chapter three, Trap by the Ocean Scent is done. And Three people died. So now there's only nine of us left. And Nekumaru's a robot. Okay. Okay, y'all. So that is the end of chapter three for Day and Rampa 2. Um, I, I have questions. I have a lot of questions. So who the hell was Makan talking about with her beloved? And then... Her death, I'm kind of, well, her punishment, I'm kind of confused by it. Like, I understand, like, the medical stuff, because, like, you know, she was a nurse. But, like, why was it sexual a little bit? And why did she just go off into space? Like, we didn't see her blow up or anything. It was just, like, she just went off into space. And then now Nekomaru's a freaking robot. He's a whole android. So I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I don't, I, hey, this is an interesting chapter, so... <laughs> If you guys like it, make sure you, if you haven't yet, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll be back with Last of Us and Dang and Rampa. I'm going to be cranking these babies out um, one after the other until this game is done. So, I'll see you guys later. And this is.